Alright, I'm back at my computer. Oh. Alright, we on? What are we? What's happening? We yeah, we on. We are live. Okay. We are dead. As an album just called Pog. Oh. I. A dead. Pog. Sushi, I like that I looked at your fucking image just now and thought it was Eustace Bags from Curse of Cowardly Dog. <laughs> Uh, Let's get me mallet. Long yeah, That's sorry, it. Sorry, it took so mallet. long. I was feeding. Um, I'm watching Scarecrow's rat swarm. Rat swarm. For him. I mean, yeah, they're rat swarm because he's got four. But. No, well, I thought you said rat. Uh, you have a rat swarm. I'm like what? I technically I do. There's at least four of them. That's good enough for a swarm, I would say. Uh, I didn't think we were gonna be doing this this soon. I was yeah, gonna try well, to draw my character, but I well, guess we're thinking of switching to that 3D one. Well, you haven't gotten yours yet, though. I know. I'm not going to be able to for a bit, just because I need to. Well, yeah. Well, we are soon, actually. And plus, if you, if you did and make your picture, I, 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 I was gonna make the picture on on, on, on overlay on uh, for my um OBS itself. Uh, okay. uh, let me go deal with the filter. That thing's a lot of shit. What the fuck? Yes. <clears throat> I just joined the, uh, what is it? Right? Huh? We joined the Roll20 link? No, uh, just uh, go back, go, go, go to your account. Yeah, go to your account and uh, it, should, it should already be been, uh, on your save games. Turtle gets swarmed by Moss. Julius! Ye eat in the ski. Reiter Skeeter. Alright. I mean, like, um, uh, Edward, how far are you from from, from being your your um your picture? Uh, I am currently at zero percent. Why? Oh, okay. I, I, I thought I thought you made some progress though, because um, uh, the, the, I mean, the reason why and uh, we're starting today is because um, uh, Roy wanted to start today. Oh yeah, that. It's just I thought I had more time. Um, or I thought I was gonna have more time, and then he was like, "We should do it Sunday." It's like, oh, okay. Oh, because the thing is, is that I didn't want to like just bring this up casually, but I got a uh, mild case of testicular torsion on Thursday. What? Um, you know, you do you know what testicular torsion is? Um, I, I'm making a joke or I don't. I, I, I'm not making a no, joke. This is not a joke. I'm serious about this shit, dude. Uh, okay, like 100%. I, I know about it because of the Venture Brothers. Uh, that shit hurts, by the way. And mine was a mild case. Mine just kind of like looped around a bit. Uh. And then I had to like, I like messed with it and then went to the ER and they're like, well, it's fine now, but if it happens again, you know, come back really quickly because, you know, you can lose a testicle like that. Um, uh, just thinking about so now, it though. Anytime, like anytime I feel uncomfortable, I'm immediately just like pushing around that area <laughs> to see. I'm just like, uh. Yeah, just. I remember, I remember when I first uh, saw that episode of Vich I even checked that checked up periodically at times because I'm, I'm I'm always scared and, and, and that that it actually might happen to me. We were fucking insane. The fucking the first time I heard about it, it felt like my testicles were hurting for a while. I was like, ah, this is my fucking spot. Yep. Like mine literally woke me up like in the middle of the night. And then I like called in, I'm like, I'm not coming in. <laughs> More like in the morning, I think, because it's just like, he's going to the ROI. His balls got twisted, what? Uh, I mean, um... nobody wants to go to work after that shit. Um, I, I'm running down the intro. You guys are not, not mind, um, um, 
What, what, what was the word again? <coughs> uh, just talk, talk about talk about yourselves. You look at me. You look at Batman. <laughs> To me right now, I'm just like, uh, no. Don't worry, Ed. Just hopefully a policeman doesn't come by with a rubber bullet. You know he's going to do it. Take out the other one. I know. He's going to do it. It's like, it's literally like, everybody and their grandmother's fucking playing Resident Evil Village right now. I got one guy that Toasty uh, watches who's playing it, and then Arcadum's playing it, and Iron Mouse is playing it. And I bet you 5 to 1, at some point, Moist Critical's gonna be playing it. He's just chatting right now, but at some point, he's gonna be playing it. Dude, that game is so good, though. I mean, it looks alright. I'm more geared towards the action-orientated ones for, like, no reason. Wait, is he like doing five, the intro, or what's what's happening? You're talking about 5 and, um... What is it, like, 6? Yeah, 4 and 5. Six was all right. I don't particularly it's like it too much. More of the four feel. There's a lot of nods to four as well, and like the rest of the Resident Evil like series in general. Hmm. That always ha what the fuck? Every time I go to type anything, if I if I capitalize it and then I push A, it always capitalizes the A for some reason. I'm not super sure why. It did it with the end too, what the hell? Uh, let's see, blah blah blah. Oh, oh, okay, what? I agree. I don't just sire sire Worcester Shire Worcester Shire sauce. Look at memes, it's so good. That is fucking hard to pronounce. Federal Unemployment Tax Act, FUTA. <laughs> Is it just a still with this music? No. Oh, okay. I like how it says anti-Semitist under it. Good work. Good fit. That's, That's not taxes. <laughs> Oh no. We sing in sea shanties with the boys, right? I think this describes us fit pretty well. Fishman Eldritch Knight, 
Tree Fitty Man and Mr. Steelio Grill. Yep. Am I Eldritch Fishman? No, I'm Eldritch Fishman. Well, the fuck would you be Eldritch Fishman? You're Mr. Steelio Grill. Ah, okay. Go the penalty. Do I have to bring back up that? Why did it? What the fuck just happened? It like kicked me off of my my Twitch page. I posted it and it just went nah and went back. It's like wait what? I didn't even push anything. I like how only robot accounts seem to like do anything to my account. I'm pretty sure most of them are robots that are following me. I legit finally get like um, what was it? Like I get all my memes now just. Like one Discord. And it's by one man. The mad lad. He's chaos. He's in. Il Do you know Illy from Jumzy's videos? Yeah. So I follow her, and I'm on her 18 plus Discord, right? Oh. Hashtag plug. It's pretty good. Uh, but, so this guy, Chaos, he is such a shit poster that all he does is shit post people. I was like, I finally had someone to connect. I went to a chaos, and then he started snorting coke and became big as fuck. Jim Watt is not just the other way. Oh, okay, okay. He also shotgunned a burrito from Taco Bell. I thought he got his freaking, like, nose was just growing super big and he was turning into something. This motherfucker. <laughs> Julius, the current year, goddammit. But what forward an image to me? Uh oh. Who the f is the guy on the bottom? I don't recognize him. Which guy? The guy with the hat? Yeah, the one that's talking. That's like he's a genetic freak. Oh, that one. I don't know. I just saw it. I was just, oh, I didn't see him, but uh. Scarecrow sent it to me, and I was just like, oh shit, gotta forward this one. <laughs> they got a 33 and 3% chance. And then you take that and you combine it with my 44 and 5 fourths percent chance. Because, you know, maths. Hey, wait, Roy, were you playing with uh, that, that, uh, why is everybody playing Elder Scrolls 4 all of a sudden? Because they know. First it was that bunny girl, now it's Momo. Who was also in, the, the, who was in the same campaign that Bunny was in for Arcadum. It's like, the fuck? Oh! And then yesterday I was watching, uh, I was watching a, I guess, I guess technically it's a VOD. Um, the, it's the same one I was telling you about earlier, Roy, where, uh, Goro was like, shut up or I'll pee in your bed. Um, she mentioned the dice that the game was using, and she's like, this is, this is the same type of dice I used in D&D, &D. and immediately I'm just like, please, Arcade, pick them up for a D&D &D session, please. <laughs> Somebody's playing The Forest. Did The Forest get an update, or... Are we just posting pictures of people right now? What the fuck? Yeah, Come on. It happens. Uh, guys, I'm gonna have to ban you. These memes have nothing to do with, uh, d, &D. Oh, he's eating pencils! I thought that was, like, a million Slim Jims for some reason. <laughs> That's from Corporal. Oh, there's Sushi. There's Sushi as a fucking anime character. Uh, okay. I know you guys are just posting pretty boys. First you were posting... Okay, so this is the progression of this. So it's literally, like... Sushi just starts posting stuff, and then all of a sudden we get to I po me posting the same, like reposting the post of that meme that I did for Roy's character, and then it goes, uh, then it has the tips for Dora guy that's got a cat that says this isn't tuna, and then all of a sudden it's the fucking Dracula from uh, Castlevania. Castlevania, there we go, thank you. <laughs> Never played that game. Please, <laughs> cream. Okay, I just go back and just <laughs> post random crap. Link, pretty much. You fucking two tough guys, and then two posts of pretty boy, and then whatever the fuck that is. That's like if Harry Potter and like John Lennon had a kid with like an extra chin, and then some big booby wo woman. And oh my god, fuck this. 
Catch it, I'm sorry. Catch it, I'm sorry. I have to leave your fucking Discord. These people are fucking insane. <laughs> Coming for me. There's not even memes. They're just posting random, random crap now. <laughs> They're memes. They're just not the memes you expected. Memes for what? What context? Exactly. No. Not that one. Fuck, I hate that. I don't see what context. You're not even building up me. You're not even building up anything for these memes. You're just posting random crap. Shit post, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Even shit posts have. Uh, uh, even shit posts don't have. Uh, have a, a, a little bit of um, of uh, of a uh, uh, prep work. You just you're just posting. It's like you're posting. No, like you're posting the. Po nah, you don't obviously go to enough shit posts. You don't shit post often enough. Um, I've seen some, uh, no, I've seen some shit posts that, no, I've, I've seen some shit posts that make sense. These don't make sense at all. You're, like, you're telling the punchline of no, a joke no, no. without telling the actual joke. Tension. Shit posting goes by levels. The shit posting that you do the least amount of work on is considered the best shit posting for some reason. I don't know why, but that's what I've learned about shit posting is you literally put in none of the effort and just post it, and it's considered good for some reason. Shit posting as a community just d does not make sense to me at all. Well, so you literally go just post a random thing of of um of like Roger Rabbit and that to a, to to a girl as, as saying something about a funeral. What? I mean, that did is they post gay. that? Or, uh... No, I'm not. Dude, give me an example. Oh, I thought you were, thought you were talking about something they had already posted. I'm like, wait, when did they post that? Ugh. God is dead, and we have killed him. Harambe. I, 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 I'm gonna make this a role, like a, 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 or something like an um. I, I'm, I'm gonna say personally, memes, uh, shit posting is not memes. <laughs> Humanity works, Genshin. I reject humanity. Fuck you. It doesn't matter. That you're one person rejecting it. Humanity works like this. One person, my ass. There's a whole entire crowd online saying reject humanity. Return to monkey. Exactly. But you're not saying that. You're just saying reject humanity. I reject humanity and return. I return to my roots. Monkey? No. Primordial ooze. Get on my level. Wow. Somebody. <laughs> Fucking his fat ass. Alright, I'm ready to shut the start the shit train. I've been ready. I was wondering what the hell was happening. I was writing my intro. I, 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 even, I even said before I, I went mute, I'm writing my intro, gotta go and talk about yourselves. Really? I didn't know that we were, I didn't know you had muted us. I no, I, I mute myself. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, right, well, right, I haven't found the, the right music for this shit. Good work. Uh, let's see, how maybe I could find it here, and, um, on the Roll20 Audio. Um, okay, uh, guys, and, um, do you guys want to, um, move this to, on, uh, to, on, uh, Tailspire? What? Uh, did you not hear me? Yes, but I want to know the context. Are you saying now? Because I don't no, I'm, I'm I'm at like on uh, next week. I don't know. Maybe I don't know how long we have for prep time. Yeah, that's true. Because now now um... because I still have to get it. I just have to get money out to get it. I mean, I'd be cool with it. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna play around with it probably today and tomorrow. I have to grind in Genshin though today. Oh, there's the actual stuff. Kevin McCloud. Wait, is that how his name's pronounced? I've always pronounced it MacLeod? I pronounce it's pronounced McCloud. Add to game. That is not how it looks like it's pronounced, though. That's the problem. It looks like it's MacLeod. It's like a whew, pleasant porridge. <laughs> Late night radio. 
that's that, that's the thing. I can't find the the the, the music for the intro from from for uh, for those flowing owls because the fact that I, I renamed it for intro, so I'm keeping it done 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 um the same name. <laughs> This is like some very sensual late night radio music. I like this. I like this. Oh, and I, I just, I just, what, wait, what? Oh no, I typed in Kevin MacLeod. Oh. I'm still gonna pronounce it like that. <laughs> <laughs> He's lucky I ain't pronouncing it Kevin MacLeod like I was going to. In fact, I spelt it like that on a few occasions because I'm talking about with this MacLeod. Oh, the the guy that does uh, royalty free music. His name's Kevin, I guess, Kenshin says it's pronounced Kevin Mac McLeod, but it's spelled M-A-C-L-E-O-D. So I pronounce it Kevin MacLeod. But one time I tried to look it up, and I, it was when I first found out about the his channel, and it, I ended up spelling it M-A-C-L-O-D-E, so it just said Kevin MacLeod. It's like, wait. <laughs> it's like YouTube had... YouTube had no idea what the fuck was happening. It's just like, is this guy dumb? What's happening? I oh, forgot my last name. Forever. I forgot that my name was was Bastinar. Well, oh, oh, last forever. So I I was just a random tavern tavern music. And <laughs> um, I I guys ready? Uh, I ready to do this paladin? I was born ready to do this paladin. It was a paladin. Yes. Alright. Ew, what the fuck? Bitch over here fucking playing the forest now. Who God is? Ah, uh, Silvervale. I don't know who that is. Uh, it's one of the V Shoujo girls. She's like one of my least favorite. Like, it's not like there's, it's not like there's a problem with her. I just don't like her character's design and she's kind of... She, she's a little airheaded for my taste. I mean, you could say that about all the V Shoujo girls if you think hard enough about it, but I mean... Okay. My kitchen is just a... Nope, never mind, it was the rats. They fucking threw the bowl. Wait, what? They suck! Uh, are they in their oh, cage, right? Huh? They're in their cage, right? Yeah, why? Alright. No, uh, Kenshin, I'm giving them out uh, I asked! I, I want to ask because the, there, are, there are people who, who there are people that just don't follow their lead, have their rats free range in their house. I am back. Hello. What are we talking about? Oh, we're talking about free range. Talking about urban rancher. I turned around and yelled at the rats, and Kenshin's like, You're, "The rats are in cages. Are in a cage, right?" I'm like, "No, Kenshin. They're running around my room." Well, it's good to have for, no. for free range rats. <laughs> No, even Scarecrow doesn't do that. Alright, so, um, um alright, then intro time. Alright, then we're ready to start. And music. Uh, uh, this will be it then. Fine, for screw it. can't figure out. Oh, okay. 1,000 years have passed since the great corruption with the populace fleeing to the skies. Heroes have come and gone, but the stories have remained. As we join Bastionar, the merfolk fighter, Bill Grieve, the Goliath Druid, and Julius, the human warlock, our heroes picked up a quest concerning a group of flying goblins posted by a turtle from the Undersea Palace with permission from Ivan Brightwood. Saying these goblins have been a menace on the Undersea life and the denizens, seeing as how this might ter soon turn into an interna international predicament, the turtle wishes to put a stop to it ASAP. Having a nice meal from the moving tavern, they set off to meet these goblins. After dispatching the first group of goblins, they acquired this floating ball of mashed potatoes that seemed to give anyone to eat it the ability to fly, albeit uh, temporarily. This is their story. This is their headcanon. I'll welcome you to these Guild Chronicles. Alright then. Okay. You need like a like a soundboard or something so you can just kind of like, uh, what what's that called where it slowly fades? I guess it just faded out. You should get a soundboard so you can fade it out. Oh yeah, I should buy like an uh, like an um uh, like um a oh, tens to hundreds dun, 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 dollar soundboard for my uh, my free enterprise of a twist of a twist channel. Nah. 
Um, it's not about. It's not about. I mean, if that's whether or not you're famous, you're it's about the it's about the production value. And it's also about like how you feel and how you want to make it like good, right? So it's just like up to you. I mean, everybody that's done anything that's famous for D and D started out like low. You think Arcadum became better than uh, Critical Role overnight? No, he started off with just the cheapest of cheap. And then he kept going. And then he found out that he could talk to V-Shoujo girls and got them on his channel, and that's how he did it. Well, tell me, though, like, uh, how how, how much is the cheapest soundboard? I have no idea. Amazon and find out. I mean, it depends. Are you are you talking about, like, a beatboard? Like, one where you can actually assign different, like... No, the cheapest one I can find. Cause I, and and I, I'm pretty sure they at least, they, they at least cost 100, 100 plus. I forgot that I was a piercer. I found one for 84 bucks on Amazon. Yeah. I'd rather just do the hard way and, and just slowly lower the volume on roll 20. Huh? Alright, so anyway. Alright, so anyway, so you're currently here in this first pedestal. You currently. Oh, yeah. Um, I want to say it's in. Who, who, who had the, uh, the floating ball mashed potatoes? Might have been me? I don't know if I pass it on to anyone else. Were you the pirate or uh, uh, or or the or the or the uh, the brigand? I'm that one, the one down here. <laughs> I'm that one. I oh. should be this one. Alright, so yeah, you're you're the brigand. So you're holding this little ball of potatoes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Again, uh, in case you forgot, though, uh, as you take, uh, as your imp to take off the plinth, the plinth then uh, s slowly and um, uh, depowers. Like uh, the glow starts starting to fade away, and you're holding now this under uh, this uh, floating glob globule of mashed potatoes that's floating. And according to your imp, and, uh, and uh, he ate it, but uh, he'll start to float for a while. But uh, albeit though, not not so much. You, you can't tell it because of his imp body, his his imp magic, or or the fact that he only ate, ate ate so little. But he didn't fly as long as on uh, that one on uh, flying goblin with a uh, bow and arrow did. It was currently melted because of a uh, of a uh, bow grieve. Oh, you mean the guy that got the guy that got murked? <laughs> the guy that turned to a puddle of flesh and poison. The guy that got destroyed in, like, nine seconds. <laughs> the only thing I really remember was I stabbed that, uh... I, like, pierced one of the goblins with my spear, and it was just, like, hail. As he died. <laughs> well, so, anyway, and, um, what's your next move from here? As, you, as, you, as an, uh, currently Julius is holding this uh, floating ball of mashed potatoes. So what are we really just going to carry these mashed potatoes? Do you want the uh, mashed potatoes there, bud? All right, just let you know about the size of the, of the ball itself. It's um, it's uh, I'm again, I'm limited to an, an uh, to roll twenty, so it's 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 not it's literally not basketball. It's about um, it's like a softball size. About like um, a little bit smaller than a softball. Here it looks like it's almost like the whole square. <laughs> my hand, oh yeah, again, I'm li I'm limited by roll twenty. Yeah. Can you guys try not to knock your food bowl over, please? Thank you. Rats literally judo throwing each other from the top ropes. No, they threw their bowl, and I had to fix it because it was up against the door, just spilling all over my floor. Their water, their water dish, or their food dish? No, 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 no. They have one of those hamster things. The little oh, little okay. Thing. Uh, theirs is a little food bowl that had hard food, veggies, and oats, and they go nuts for oats. And one of them, I guess, wasn't happy about that, and so they just kind of like threw the bowl. Biggie cheese. Yeah, probably. All right. Um. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. That's all. Um. Literally with well, only one hand, you you have like a this um yeah around for about a softball size and a globule of, of mashed potatoes that's floating in your hand, Julius. So if if you have enough vials, uh, you can separate that separate it and uh, carry it in your pack. Vials, you say? Like you know, uh, empty vials, uh, empty potion vials. 
Or because unless you, uh, you want to just literally stick it, stick the globule into your bag, uh, I'm I, I, I'm covered, I'm protected. Do you want a flask uh, of potato, or do you want a bucket of potato? Bucket of potato, if you have a bucket. I don't, but. Then why did you offer? For the memes, obviously. All hail the potato bucket. I mean, you can probably. Wait, why wouldn't you put it in your bag? I mean, it's just a potato ball, right? Yeah, but it's mashed potatoes. Oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah I keep forgetting the mash Um, let me I don't have my character sheet open. Hold on. There we go. I mean, technically, um, couldn't you put it in, like, your water skin or something? It's full of water skin. <laughs> <laughs> but, but water. I keep forgetting that a mess kit is just stuff that you use to eat food. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, um... Yeah, I don't think I really... I mean, I have, like, a backpack, but that's just gonna put mashed potatoes in my backpack. You can just have your imp hold it for nope, now. Nope, 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 damn it! That Apparently true. I did. could do that. Hold on, I'm going, I'm, I'm going back in. Uh, if he turns invisible. Yes, we could have, like, the imp hold it for now. They could just kind of chill with it. Alright, Toki, hold the hold the potatoes for me. You name your imp Toki. His name is, uh, hang on, I wrote it down. I call him Toki for short. He doesn't like the name. Toki, Please tell me to have, I don't have this war tooth. What? Tokizar? Tokizar? T-O-K-I-X-A-R. Tokizar. Um... The five, the five memory spell. If you summon an imp, but uh, uh, is he forced to tell tell you his real name? Probably not. So this is the name you just you just gave him. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, if you want to go that way, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, he okay. He said that the imp hated the name, so. <laughs> no, no, no. He said that, it, it, that no. He said that the imp that imp hated him. Hates the when I call him Toki too. But... Toki explosion. Apparently, he liked the mashed potatoes. <laughs> like, like, so, so, and, uh, I, I, and uh, so, you just called him up, uh, call him Toki, and uh, and uh, and, uh, and tell him to hold the hold the potato ball. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, for the last time, that's not my name. Don't worry, Toki. We'll get that. We'll stop get calling me Toki. To like, yeah, fine. And he just awkwardly holds it, and it's like he's floating in his hands, like, hmm. um. As master, just let you know, on I, I can't really see. And can't see. It's I'm dude. Assuming the potato, the potato balls in his way. It, it, like it, 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 the, it, the the ball is like a, roughly about at the very least, um, half half his whole entire body. Well, don't worry. Uh, you can eat it on the way. I'm sure that's wise. I mean. Should we present it to some sort of, like, uh, wizard or something to analyze this? Yeah, just eat it till you can see. <laughs> eat all of it. <laughs> yeah. just, like, just eat a small hole in the middle of it. We'll have potato donuts. <laughs> yeah, make a potato donut. <laughs> if you cut the lasagna in half and you stack it on top of each other, how many lasagnas do you actually have? <laughs> like, eh, whatever. Like, he starts, he starts going invisible, but the thing is all done now, since, since he's not really physically touching the, um, the, the potato ball. A, it's a floating <laughs> potato ball that you're <laughs> Yeah, so like, um, hold on. Hold on, hold on. So, so he starts going invisible. That's all, all he sees is this. Um, at least I can see where he, where he is at. <laughs> and, okay, and, and, and you happen to see, you happen to see an, um, the little, little bite marks on, on that just appear out of nowhere on the potato ball itself, so it gets a little, just a tiny bit smaller. And and as, as he does, and, uh, his flying becomes less erratic. All right. All right. I'm so not sure. I'm not sure how effective that will make his invisibility. I can't tell if that's gonna help him by making them wonder why it's floating, or hinder him by going, there he is. I mean, if worse comes the worst, he can just lay it on the ground, and then fly over. Wait, hey, dude, what is this accent you're doing? <laughs> Your mother, how about that? 
You've got multiple sclerosis again. Yeah. It is what it is. Alright, so, wait, are we gonna, like, hit up all the potato balls, or... Um... This one was just close. Did we want to go to the cave? I mean, I guess, do we know what these... I don't think we know what these pedestals do. No, we nope. went to, like, the optional thing. Uh, the yeah. The guy told us to go to the center of the island. Oh. Uh, did we do some red 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 We did it, Sky, but check on the ball. Did we do it on the the thing here? We did not do it on the pillar. We can't. We could do like an investigation check, I assume. What, 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 what are you guys want to do? What are you trying to do? Uh, I guess we do an investigation on what this pillar could be. Um, yeah. Uh, roll investigation, or uh, if you guys if you guys are profi proficient with it, uh, now roll on Karna. Nope, not well, let's try Arcana for no reason. I no, mean, only think... only if you're proficient with it. Oh, never mind. Ignore this roll then. Ignore it. Watch it be really good. Yeah, yeah. ignore it. <laughs> Investigation minus a one. Yep. Well, it's still pretty good though. Um, I forgot about that. Hold on. I'm still angry that nature is based off of intelligence. That is pretty bad. Like, it could have been, I don't know, something. I, what? I'm a druid. And I don't want to take nature because it's an intellect stat. But it makes sense, you're a druid. Not taking it. They, yeah, it's weird that it's an intelligent, but it's like when you think nature, you would think druid, which is wisdom. Yeah, which is yeah. wisdom, right? Apparently, and uh, they equate it to like a uh, like a and uh, using your intelligence. Nature to, using... Well, nature is supposed to be like un, like knowing everything, like the plant life, that kind of stuff too. Yeah, because yeah. Could be, it's it's, it's because it's technically deemed as knowledge. Right? It's because back then, uh, before Arthur's came out, though, and uh, people have been role playing their alchemists as wizards. Oh. Uh. Yeah. I'm gonna guess. Well, remember, remember, but back then, wizard, wizard was the only in caster, like literally the yeah. only in caster, because because apparently this game is full of full of charisma, uh, charisma casters. What they need to do next time they decide to update any of like the game mechanics itself is they should make intimidation be strength or charisma, and then make nature intelligence. Or was I guess it would only work if that was. Yeah, that um, wouldn't make any sense. Never mind. Um, 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 what, said anything. Well, I think, well, I think a Pathfinder. Pathfinder, it's different, right? No, the, and a path, Pathfinder don't. No, they have a the complicated math to work on, like um, like investigation, Arcana, on on uh, intimidation. Yeah, like yeah. like in, in, intimidation is different from 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 uh, persuasion. Yeah. So you, you can't have a, you can't have a character on on um. um Actually no, in, in this game that there is also intimidation and persuasion. Never mind, ignore me. But anyway, um, anyway, so yeah, and uh, with that role, um, yeah, Bill Grave, you just look at it, go like, you're like random stone thing, uh, like I don't know, this is this is this is nature is is man made. Uh, Julius and and, and Bastinar, you can see that the, the, the um, something was done here uh, is meant for something, and it's leading towards somewhere, but then um, like feeding energy to somewhere, but uh, you don't, you, you guys don't know where. Boy, I cannot, and now I can stop using push the top. Don't know where though. Hmm. That's lovely. Uh, uh, hope you would have missed that. Okay. Um. So, is there any, like, sigils on the floor or something? Um, for Blessed Nar, um, with your roll, you're able to see that, then, um, uh, this light tendrils of energy was going towards uh, the center of uh, the island, but, but but that's about it. Okay. Would I be able to infer that perhaps we have to visit each one of them? Or would I have to roll for that? Um, you can make a guess, but then uh, you see that these tendrils are, are, are like aiming towards the center of the island, but then and uh, but it, it just stops like what? Like, it's kind of like uh, you see these these little like tendrils as as it was fading, go like mm -hmm. this way, 
and then and, and then d disappears a a after it, it reaches that point. Okay. But you said it was towards the. Uh, uh, the it was center, right? it was pointing towards the center, like where the the cave that the turtle that I told you about. Okay. Um. My fellow compatriots, I uh, I may have. I, I, I can't really call it a, a theory, because it doesn't really have anything other than anecdotal evidence, but um, this pillar reminds me of something that uh, someone once told me about. We might... This might have something to do with the center of the island. Uh, if I were to... If I were a betting uh, sentient creature, I would... Uh, I would say maybe we should try hitting all the pillars before we try to go, but that's that's just me. That is one way to do it. There is only two. How far are the pillars? Do we know that information? I don't think we know that information. They gave you a rough. Kind of... Yeah, and the Natoro gave you a, a rough sketch of uh, of um, of the map itself because you know these 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 are one of the um the non uh, claimed. Yeah, yeah, he, he talked about it that there was like three pillars. In it. Yeah, these are these are like a, one of the non-claimed, non-charted uh, uh, islands, and so um, he gave a rough sketch of it. Though, like it, it kind of, and uh, as he did gives a rough, ske rough sketch, it kind of reminds you of um, it kind yeah, it kind of reminds you of the the the, unifica the, the unification on, on that chart, the unification chart of the of the of the, of the alliances. Hmm. And um and uh, what you know the, the the four cross and and and, and, and the four cross are always leaning towards the center. Um oh. yeah, so basically they give you a rough sketch of the island though, and uh, and um, you can infer it on on uh, like um where you are, uh, you and um for for not giving you any and um on uh, cardinal directions, you're you're like on the bottom of the map, uh -huh. and. And next to you, uh, nearby to you, uh, and walking distance, and uh, you are going towards um uh, the center. But then, uh, if you, if you diverge from the center and go towards the, le the left or right of the of the island itself, it, 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 equidistant to uh, equidistant of the of the center cave, is the other other uh, the other two pillars. While on the opposite side, an equal distance and, uh, of the cave, will would be the the third pillar. Okay. Um. We say all of that, but in our voices, so that it sounds like <laughs> we said it. Um, well, I feel, I feel like we should probably go check out the other two pillars, because they might is have different. Is it two or is it four? Uh, there are four in total. Uh, you, you okay. guys, you guys basically quote unquote took out one. All right. Yeah, so I think that we should check out the other pillars just in general, because if it, if it is giving power to the center or whatever then it might not hurt and we can also see if there's other artifacts or something or yes yeah, more mashed potatoes more magic mashed potatoes what it might be a, a magic like thing of gravy next you know <laughs> no the mashed uh, potato a magic a magic vial of bath water perhaps from the lady the, of the lake we don't the, know. <laughs> God damn it the magic potatoes represent the phoenix obviously so the next one is going to be like a russet potato to represent, a, a, I don't know, a turtle. The next one is going to be a baked potato. A spicy Cheeto to represent the dragon. <laughs> All right. So I guess I guess we're gonna try to our best to find where the other pillars are at. All right then. You uh, no, which one are I starting at though? Are you looking for are you going to the, the the pillar on the left or, or or the pillar on the right? Uh. Hmm. Do you want to go clockwise or counterclockwise? Okay, um, let's say... Let's say odd... Odd is left and even is right. Alright. Alright. Roll that d4. Right it is. To the other right. <laughs> Um, it'll take you about a good like um hour to walk there, and um, it's currently about like yeah, you left you left the the moving tavern roughly about like um noonish. Uh, you 
a good ten to twenty minutes from from from, your, from the location though. You're able to hit the the the, the, the first um, uh, first pillar. So roughly about here, it'll take you about a, a good hour, uh, a good a, a half an hour to an hour. So it'll be roughly about two thirty uh, right now. Uh, you, you see that the, the, the sun the sun's still blaring down, but um, not, not not as much as as it was before when you started the first battle. Um, okay. You guys want to like talk amongst yourselves while on uh, on uh, while you're doing this, or um, I suppose compatriots. Um, what what have what have you guys been doing since last we made a joint effort to do a uh, to complete a glorious mission? I have still been trying to find my family. Oh. Mm, write that down. Jobs there and there. But I'm still uh, just doing everything that uh, I need to. What of you, Fish King? He's, he just kind of he doesn't realize you're talking to him. The scholar from the sea? Huh? What? Oh. Were you, were you talking to me? I was talking to you there, Fish King. But I'm not a king. You'll get there one day. Regardless, I uh, I had a few glorious uh, smaller missions that I did. Though I suppose uh, clearing out a tavern basement full of uh, rodents is not exactly the most glorious of tasks, but... I think that in order to regain glory, everybody has to start off somewhere. A task is a task. As long as it pays well, it is fine. Wise words to live by. Hold on. Oh. As you head towards the uh, this uh, next pillar, and um, also don't make fun of me. Uh, just, just FYI, this is gonna be the same map. <laughs> or <Bullion>, uh. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm basically recycling. I'm basically recycling. Shut up. But anyway. I mean, if AAA video games can do it, so can we. Yeah. If Skyrim can do it for every dungeon, you can do it for your D&D game. If Skyrim can do it over and over and over again for each game, and All right. keep releasing itself. Alright, so you you, you want to um, head towards the area of, of, of the, second, the pillar on the right of the, of the map itself. And sure enough, though, there, there are more goblins. Uh, the yellow one, there's, right, right there, you're actually in... Um, where you are, the yellow one right there, and um, you can see, and uh, with the bow and arrow, sure enough, he's still flying. He's roughly about five to ten feet uh, 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 up to the ground. But f for some reason, though, you see that, that these uh, goblins are facing this way. Can we see what they're facing, or? They're um oh no, they're facing that that this way, in 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 that general general direction. But is there like a reason? Yeah, are, are they or? looking for something, or are they just on post? They're on post there. Uh, um, They're expecting us to come from the other side, apparently. Um, Romeo. Hmm. Do we roll like stealth or something? Hold on, so hold on. Because we're just nonchalantly walking. Right? Romeo. Well, I'm the tree, so I don't need to worry. <laughs> Romeo. Um, uh, an insight on this. Uh, insight. Oh, Sushi, you should be good at insight. In is an insight wisdom? Yeah, that's why I have a negative one. I rolled a net 20. Hey, let's go. 1980. Okay, come on. Roll 20. Come on. Right. No, no, no. This is good. Just keep rolling like uh, this. You all, you, okay, so you all got, you all got this. Um, especially you, Julius. They're facing, they're facing the edges of the island itself because they're thinking the, uh, there might be a, an invader coming on um offshore. Huh. Where they're, where they're facing though is where, where is where the shoreline is. What if we were the bad guys the whole time? <laughs> all right. Well, time to get blasted. <laughs> Should I melt the guy again? I mean... That would, <laughs> that would serve its purpose. I'd be insulted if he didn't. Alright, so yeah, so these goblins are, are facing the, an, opposite, uh, uh, an opposite of you, so... 
What's the game plan? Are you going to try to talk to him again? Well, it didn't go good the yeah, last time. They didn't the seem to like us talking to them. They attacked me. They didn't no, attack- actually, you attacked them. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I'm pretty sure you started it. <laughs> you started by shillelian one. <laughs> Cause he was yelling gibberish at him. He was yelling be... gibberish, and he poked me with his little daggery thing. Uh, uh, let me let me go and talk with him, okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, just uh, I, I, I agree with Emperor not because then all you see is a flowing ball of, of mashed potatoes behind you. Sure, let's bring the mashed potatoes with us. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's, it's like the Dragon Balls. If we collect all four mashed potatoes, they turn into the super mashed potatoes and grant us a wish. The, the sacred chicken ball? Chicken ball. One of, no, that's how we get the golden chicken tendy. So, I, you, I bring, it all out. you bring your imp? Yeah, let, let's bring him up a bit. Alright, so he's flying right there, on the, right above your, your left shoulder. Alright, so, no surprise at all, that uh, all the goblins that, that, that turn to you, <laughs> and you see like, uh, the one floating on uh, uh, that, that fiery laptop just is pointing his bow and arrow uh, uh, at you, and these guys turn around and, and like, uh, with their swords drawn, <laughs> and he's, he's floating, he's, he's yelling at the, um, the, the, the floating ball behind you, like, I'm gonna grab the ball and present it forward. Uh-huh. It's like an offering. I, I found this! I found this! <laughs> I'm assuming none of you speak common. Roll me persuasion with disadvantage. They looked at you. They still have their, their uh, uh, weapons drawn. They speak to you, they speak to you in this good old language though, but no, you could actually like, stop. Give me up. What's up? And the, these these in the woman in red is pointing at the uh, is pointing at the ball, pointing at the ground, pointing at the ball, and like an and uh and he's please point he's please pointing on on um. Roll me inside on what he's doing. You get advantage on this. He's basically, he's basically telling you, leave ball, go away. Hmm. I'm gonna put the put the be the mashed potatoes on the ground, and then I'm gonna come back to my. <laughs> you put it on the ground. You see, you see it floating. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna come back to him. All right. So how do we kill them? <laughs> I can use poison spray again. You did you do. not? Did you get any information out of them? They're goblins. I, I can't get any from, uh, anything from them. I don't speak their language. Um, oh. you, 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 uh, you, in your corp on a, on a, um, pres, uh, per, on, um, um, it's the side, it's the, the side of your sight that uh, you see the, the, the one with the bow and arrow just land. He landed? Yeah, he landed. <laughs> he landed? You think that they're, they're just going to combine the two mashed potato balls into one? I, I honestly could not tell you. I don't have enough information to make an educated guess. Are we, we are we going to have to kill them? The relic. Uh, we probably will. Uh, should we make a game plan, perhaps? Well. The last one went pretty well, actually. I was actually very surprised by that. Um, because none of us really took all that much damage. I mean, I got hit, but that was really about it. But that was long ago. <laughs> I mean, like, overall, the only one that got hit the, uh, the, the hardest was, uh, was Bell Grieve. Murphy, yeah, I, got I believe you should take the charge on this Murphy. one. You do seem to be, well, uh... Well, let's just say that you're... quite endurful. I, I don't know the exact words for it. You you may know smarter words than I. Hearty? I think you would have the best chance. Hearty? Robust? Uh, uh maybe. Least likely to die. Monkey Butler? Ah, that's a good one. <laughs> that is the magic third option. So go, uh, why don't you uh, take the point on this one? 
we got you covered back here. All right. Uh, I guess we're going with the fighting option. So yeah. <laughs> as you as, uh, as you turn towards the uh, uh, the goblins, the uh, and, um, you see you see the one bone arrow just uh, yelling orders at them, and so and you see that the guy the the, the, the guy uh, the, that one bone arrow picks up done with his one hand, he stows away he stows away his uh, his bow his bow, with one hand fly, uh, 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 floats up and. They haven't seen you guys yet. He's pl- he's and uh, you can see with his body motion. He's planning to fly over towards the, towards the cave. Mm. He's carrying he's carrying the the, 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 the potato ball. Okay, can I can I move to here without bothering them at all? Are they gonna get upset if I if I move behind the tree? Oh, they haven't seen you yet. Uh, so roll me a stealth check. All right, that's gonna suck. <laughs> Oh yeah, I uh, already you have your armor. No, I have medium armor. Isn't that still a disadvantage? Uh, I don't think so. Let me double check that actually. I believe heavy armor gives you armor, disadvantage. Right? Um, which, 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 armor which medium armor do you have? Yeah, oh, I that, have... that is true. I, I think if you have plate... Let me double check that real quick. Or plated? Or breastplate? I think you have disadvantage. Armor... I should have... I have scale... Nope, disadvantage. Fuck. Fuck you, scale mail! I mean, you, you, you <laughs> can always... Wait, how far can you chuck your trident? Uh, effectively? Uh, 20 feet? Uh, anything past that's gonna get disadvantage? You can always move up a little bit and then chuck your trident at... As a distraction? Uh, oh, that is true. Oh wait, hold up. Sorry, I didn't mean to click that. You should probably oh. aim for the one that's flying, right? Hold on, hold on, yeah, hold on, guys. Give me, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Let's see. Um. Okay, from there, he's flying. I think he said he was. What did he say? It was like 10, 15 feet off the ground. Uh, I don't have to be sure. like. I think. I think he's like 10 right. feet off the ground. All right, I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. Uh, oh, currently he's landed. He stowed away his under uh, his bow, but so he because uh, you know he can't use his bow and uh, and hold the, the floating potato ball. I mean, he could secure it to himself. I don't know why he doesn't think of that. Um, he's a goblin. And plus, uh, 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 you try sec- you try securing a non-solid thing. Well, semi-solid. Mashed potatoes are like logia fruit. In fact, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that that should be a logia fruit, not a special paramecia. Um, <laughs> God damn it! Well, it's your your word, your word against well, it's your word against God. I wouldn't call him a god, but all right. Um, let's see. That's if he's on the ground. Oh god! If he's on the ground, I can probably run four squares up and just huck that fucking. Trident just as hard as I can, as like a preemptive. And then even if I miss, I mean, you guys can make your moves. I guess we'll have to roll initiative after they realize I'm throwing a trident at them. But yeah, once once you, once you start attacking though, on uh, uh, this is this is your surprise round. You get okay. one one action each, and um, and after that will be an uh, tur- the tur- the turn order proper. Okay, let me double check to make sure I know what square I'm supposed to be at. Okay. So you said he's on the ground, correct? He's on the ground right now. Yeah. He, he okay. you see, well, by his body movement, though, he's about to actually launch and uh, towards the center of the island with the flying potato ball in his hand. Okay. Um, I'm gonna just real quick run up here and then I'm gonna chuck my trident at him. All right. Roll to hit. Wait. Let me double check to make sure that that's my. Yeah, that's twenty feet. Okay. Let me just. Where is my throne trident? Hey, one. Fly true loyal shoe. <laughs> one go. Take a swing. Woo. Oh. oh yeah, that hits. Roll damage. We, we rolling big boy numbers today. Yeah. Hey, basically, an, uh, lanky fish man just run up, shield up slightly, just one handed chuck of trident. <sighs> It, it, it basically and uh, it goes and uh, and pierce it pierces him right in the chest. Goes, <laughs> and so far, uh, uh, yeah, so far he has, and um, he has yet to yell uh, about it. Though, but you know that and, uh, and uh, rounds always take up on a, on a, on a, on a, um, usually take up like a, a, you know, a split second. So who's who's doing what what next? Uh, I mean, I... go 
Go ahead. Go ahead, bud. We should we should probably get into position. Uh, well, this is I, this is a surprise round, so you all to get one action uh, uh, on them before we start the the, the the turn order proper. I mean, I'll just fire my arcane blast. Which one did he hit? The 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 the, the, yellow, the yellow one. one. Right. All right. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna shoot for the red one then. All right. Eldritch blast. <laughs> That actually misses actually. Uh, uh, so like, he's he's a little. Wait, wait, hold on. Do surprise do surprise rounds actually give you advantage? I don't know. Uh, you could you could look at the rule. And it... I have no idea. You see, I am a sponge. Are, and wait, are we going with like the flanking rule? No, you're you're not actually. Well, he's flanking. asking about surprise round. Oh, surprise round? An advantage. Uh, Appendix A over. of the player's handbook contain a comprehensive list of conditions. Appendix That's right, we're sponsored by the player's handbook, ladies and gentlemen. Make one range attack roll at advantage. What? I just looked it up. Uh, place A, 290. Uh, conditions, um, blinded, charm, deaf, and... Oh come on! It's not. It's not it. <laughs> if any creatures are surprised, the first round of combat is called the surprise round. Alternatively, you can see the first round is always surprise round and uh, skip skip it to no creatures are surprised. It works the same. Surprise conditions: creatures who are surprised have the surprise condition, which prevents them from moving, acting, or reacting. The surprise condition ends for the. Oh, okay, never mind. You guys don't have advantage though. But it just means that uh, no, you guys have a free round on them. Uh, yeah, so that that misses though. As like an, um, you see, you see, and uh, the, the the spirit pierce through the chest of, of, of the of the of, of the, the the flying condition go goblin, and then all of a sudden, uh, and you see, huh? all of a sudden he hears something, and he just, he just, it's, 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 it's suddenly he uses the, the shield to block something. Like, huh? I'm going to use poison spray hmm. on the red one. Is it a cone or a single target? It is a. I, it doesn't say cone. Uh, I believe it's single. Cause I release like a puff of uh, a puff of gas at them. So so it's more more like an uh an, 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 like in WWE, WWE what what is they spraying your face? Kind of yeah. Oh the Kenshin maneuver. What? <laughs> you're I made you in the wrestling thing one time, and your your special move was like nine poison sprays and a kick to the mouth. <laughs> yeah. What? You just kept doing it. It's like bleh 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 bleh, bleh roundhouse kick. Um, I thought of when he said that. No, that's not poison spray. That's power word kill. <laughs> power well, word. I, I, I win. I, I wrote it down in my thing. Wait, is it, it, it part of the Zathos or, or part of the, part of the player's handbook? Player's handbook. Should be. I mean, you, you can just see... look it up on. Wiki. Oh, here it is. Uh, conjuration, one action, instantaneous. You said you're towards a creature you can see within range. I'm puff, I'm puff, I'm just, uh, it doesn't say it's a cone. Right? Okay, yeah. So it's literally just doesn't you, you, you like yeah. you're spitting on on a, on a poison at them. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, what, spray. Uh, well, I heard spray, and, and most spray spells are are usually yeah, cones. Yeah, it's like a cone, right? Yeah, yeah uh, that's what I was originally thinking. Yeah, no, I, it's more like a bolt. Well, or it, it, well, it makes sense because it's a cantrip and, and not, not 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 an actual level spell. All right. Uh, uh DC 10, 12 poison damage. Even at low level, Druids are, Druids are scary. Well, this is the major like, this is their this is their major like damage cantrip other than Shillelagh. You can say the same thing about the uh, Firebolt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have Firebolt. He has a plus zero. Let's see what he has. Twenty-two. He rolled a twelve, so he he passes. Like he just like. No, on uh, on uh, uh, for poison spray though, no, if they pass, they, they they take no damage. Yeah, they take no damage. Yeah, so like, so uh, you hit him, uh, the red one though, and, and, and but things though, you hit him at an awkward time because his shield is still up, so he blocked most of the poison using his shield. He looked over, eh, 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 yeah! everyone on initiative. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Hold on. I clicked on Discord by accident. Okay, initiatives. My my plus one initiative. Oh Jesus! And then I'm. Oof. Like, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I did my one cool thing. 
Uh, what, you got eight? No, I hit them with my trident. Oh, okay. So now, now everything um, is downhill from here. <laughs> roll on the, uh, don't forget to roll, roll for your imp. I did. I'm, I mean, I played it on, uh, Sushi's. I, I did, I rolled. Uh, I so, Bell Green gets oh, right it. Right oh, right Jesus, right you, you guys are rolling on, on nice <laughs> the, 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 this session. Except, except that word. Fast and R. Uh, Julius gets a 21. 21! Sushi, you alright? Uh, yeah, just slowly eight. Not joking. The imp is, uh, 18. Alright, uh, now for the gobos! Uh, the red gobo. Is this a royalty free song? This sounds like it's taking influence from something. It's Kevin McLeod. Oh, uh, yes, Kevin McLeod. <laughs> McLeod. The blue one. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Was it, don't we have a town in this world called Macklemore? Macklemore. Macklemore, there we go. 12. There's a town called Macklemore? No, yeah, Ma maybe. Macklemore. It's a uh, name after on 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 uh, the descendants of uh, of um uh, uh, of Jared's character, uh, so and so Knackle, and so the, the name the, the name after the family, uh, which is on uh, Knacklemore. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh yeah, that's right. His gnome was named that, right? Yeah. From, uh, Company L. Yeah. Because that, 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 that city will, will dedicate the company itself in a way, and 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 uh, being built by the 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 descendants of um of Jared's character. That's why they also made made an, uh, a fighting a fighting a fighting and a, and a pit in college for uh, dedicated to your character, and a uh, little a tiny wizard academy that that that's dedicated to and uh, to and, uh, to Roy's character. Oh, anyway, shit. so. Uh, Lenny. So yeah, so it's, it's it's literally called the the the, the Lenny Academy. What the hell is my phone at? I'll be right back. You guys can go on. I'm uh, Julius, phone. it's actually uh, is yeah, no, your turn right now. I'm, right. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, oh, blast the red guy. Uh, yeah, blast the red guy. Again. Yeah, if you blast the red guy, then I'll move up and I can get the. Oh, that has to be a hit. Oh yeah, then uh, yep, that hits. Hey, hey. Damage. Immediately, like uh, you just shot him, like like you just shot him with the uh, point black range. He just falls, he falls back, lo he got lost about five feet behind him, and, and like it just black. Oh shit! Like he leaves like all smug because I'm like, ha ha, I block, I, I block your magic. What are you gonna do now? Black. Yeah. Do it. And he's he's gone. <laughs> All right, so will that be it? Is there is there a bonus action you, you know you can do? What happened? Is there is, is there like a bonus action you, you know you can or, or want to do? I think the only let me see. Hang on. He cast, I mean, he he cast door. He technically hasn't moved. Yeah, I haven't moved yet, but let me double check something real quick. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna do this. Okay. Nope, that's that's it. All right. For, for me. All right, Belgrave, your turn now. You you just see on uh, Julius on on a blast his goblin's chest out on uh, what some sort of weird energy that came off off of his ball and chain. All right. Well, then I'm gonna move up and I'm going to use my poison mist on the blue one. Okay. I'm, I'm actually kind glad that they have zero con. Jesus! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> What happened? He rolled 15, 15 poison damage. He's rolling pretty high on this. Hold on. Because it is a d12, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, d12, d12 yeah, plus his yeah, wisdom. It was his wisdom. Yeah, because uh, that's basically if I roll like the highest on Eldritch Blast, I can get to a 14 right now. Of I my, can get to uh, 16 with my poison blast. spray. Alright, so that's uh, his constitution check. It's literally do or die, and like he he he, he sees his friend, and uh, so basically he sees his friend, and, and um, get knocked back by some sort of weird 
bolt of energy. He sees you r run up to him like an, uh, uh, and like it just really puts up his shield and he blocks on uh, most of, of, of your poison. Uh, and you see it kind of like corrode his shield, like. <laughs> And then, posted in memes what happened. That'll be in your mind. <laughs> okay, now the imp's turn. And I, I want to give you... Hold on, uh, the imp token back. Yeah. I, I didn't make him a, a, a proper and uh, token. My bad. Um, here you go. Yeah, he was, he, was, he was right next to you. He just pops out of this way. Or you want to keep him uh, invisible? Uh, keep him invisible. Alright, so... I don't think I'm going to use him for... Okay, so what well, is his turn now? Is there anything you want that you want to order him to? Yeah, go over to one of them and then have him use the help action on the blue guy. All right, what so I heard his two Hold on, so demented. Uh, his it wasn't five piece. Five not thirty. Uh, let me check. It is. Fly speed of 40. 40? Oh, yeah, he has enough then. So, he'll just go over here. Uh, Re-pop re back into, uh, to not, uh, to, uh, to not being invisible. And I go, and just like, uh, just, you know, like, uh, he's distracting them, like, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and um, like, like, uh, just waving his tail from, like, and being like a, a real nuisance. <laughs> and he seems to come, like, <laughs> and the blue one, since, um, that's the only target he's, Actually, yeah, that that's the only target he's actually seeing right now, so he's gotta try and attack your imp. With the little scimitar action. God damn it, I don't know what the fuck's going on with this. Um I'm gonna That's post. I guess it's general I'll post it in. Fuck that. Um uh does a I eleven hit your imp? Sorry, what was happening? Uh, the, he's attacking your imp. Oh, my imp? Uh, my imp has an armor class of 13. Jesus. A <laughs> tanky imp. So, like, um... 13, 13 armor class, 10 hit points. Yeah, so basically, he goes and pairs it, uh, pairs it, and, uh, about eight, and, uh, uh, and, uh, uh, with his tail. <laughs> then the flying one... <laughs> Looks around and like, uh, uh, I'm gonna roll something to see if he stays or fly uh, or flies away. Or fries. Don't do it. Don't try to run. Oh wait, it actually worked. What the fuck? All right. Nope, he's a coward. He's gonna fly away. Why doesn't it show up on my character sheet? Uh, thirty feet. Yep, thirty feet. So. I just uh, no. Okay, uh, oh, I'll tokens. Okay, so he'll go this way. That's 10, 20, no, 10, 20, 30. Alright, so he, he moves there. Uh, yeah, so he moves, uh, no, no, hold on. Yeah, he moves about there, he's, he's about 10 feet up. And he, like, he's flying fusually up. Blast, it's your turn now. Just call me Blast? Blast. Blast. No, no, no like Blast. the number one hero? Blast? Blast, no, it's your turn. Okay. You see um, that, and uh, 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 I see uh, this uh, imp holding on uh, uh, the, um, ho ho uh, uh, ironically, he's, uh, his, his, um, his uh, chest still has your trident. He's, oh, yeah, he's, I'm aware of that. Yeah, he's, uh, uh, he's slowly in, uh, uh, inclined going up, though. He's, he's about, roughly about 10 feet up. And um, uh, and he's trying to fly away towards the the center of the island. All right, hold on. With the with the with the potato ball. Let's see, so it's sixty feet. Am I within range for stuff? Let's find that out. Yes. Okay. So, uh, Bastinar is gonna reach to his uh, his hip, undo the little fasten, kind of wiggle his arm around it while making noises that sound mostly like gloves in the sound of running water, and he is going to throw out a blast of ice in the form of Ray of Frost. Oh. Hmm. Alright. Uh, do you need to roll hit, or do you need to do a check? I make a ranged attack. Uh, how do I do that? Do I just... Oh, wait, no, I have a Ray of Frost thing! That's right, yeah, 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 hold on. Duh. 
Uh, uh, all right. The, I uh, forgot uh, I, had a I had like a macro for it. All right. Go ahead. <sighs> Come on, hit this motherfucker. Oof. Oh no! Like a he like a he he sees a he sees he sees on the side that you doing something. So he like instantly turns around and blocks it with blocks it with his shield. All right, I'm gonna go. Do not let that one escape. And then I'm gonna flick my free hand and use my bonus action to call my trident back. You see the so trident? So just gonna keyblade out of him and into my hand. You see the trident disappears? Like, <laughs> like it, it just it just caught him off guard. Um, back up the turn order. Uh, Julius, it's your turn. Alright, I'm gonna shoot at the one running, actually. This yellow guy. Alright. Alright, here I go. Alright, um, that hits. Um, don't need to roll damage, and, uh, since he was... Okay, then. Too late. <laughs> Too late. I did it anyway. <laughs> Alright, so, any, so anyway, he uh, goes over, and, and you just shoot, like... He's still surprised that that the trident disappeared, and and um, he looks over and it reappeared back in your hand, <laughs> and like and also he sees as a giant flash right before him and just hits him in the chest, <laughs> and he just flies and uh, fly and flops back to the ground, dead, and you see the ball just ro roll over on the ground a bit, stops, and then just continues on that on that floating again. It gets it gets some debris, but as Homer saying, as Homer would say in Simpsons, it's so good, it's so good. It's still good. Breeze, still good. It's just a little blood. It's still good. <laughs> Indeed. All right, and so uh, um, it, 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 would that be it for you, uh, not Julius? Yeah, I'm just gonna have my imp take the, the help action again. Oh, it was not. It's not. It's not his turn yet. Turn. Whenever it becomes his turn. Bill Greaves, your turn now. You see, on uh, this imp, on uh, on uh, thoroughly annoy this uh, this goblin. That is. I'm just gonna use poison mist again. Okay. There we go. Uh, poison spray. Uh, since uh, uh, with the help, I I I, I thought the help action will actually and assist assist in, in in this. No, it only gives advantage. All right. Yeah. It doesn't give disadvantage. Um. Nope. On uh, uh, another fourteen, and uh, he like and, um <laughs> see something though, he just blocks it again with his shield, and uh, and like. <laughs> Weird, because it's a Constitution save. Yeah. And your DC is only ten. Uh, the imp, the imp now. Did I continue with the help action? How, how is Constitution save actually yeah, it, it calculated? I don't remember. It's usually in the, the same as your stats. Um, it, it's your stats. It, uh, I believe it's your. Would it get my spell? Would it get my spell casting modifier? Oh yeah, it, it already is. No, 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 they have to make one. Okay. Or I'm talking about the saves in general. No, just the thing in general, like, I, I was a little confused on how con saves work, or like how... Uh, let's go with, uh, with yours then. Um, okay. Yeah, so, hold on, you have a negative one in intelligence, right? I have a negative one in intelligence, yes. If I take that off... Yeah, you get also yeah. So it's literally just your your stat plus your proficiency proficiency bonus. Okay. Wait, is he asking about his spell save DC or? No, just saves in general. Okay. Uh, yeah, just saves in general. Wait, what, 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 hold on. What, what, what is your spell save DC? Fourteen. It's fourteen. Yes, because my spell modifier. Oh is shit! I, I thought it was ten the whole entire time. No, it's wisdom. Why can I come say it's ten? I don't know. That's why I was. That's why I was double checking. Yeah, that's why I'm like. Yeah, oh that, that is weird. Why does it say that it's ten? Hold on, let me let me fix that for you. So like, I'll okay. I'll retcon that and say he's dead. And uh, so okay. and while I'm fixing while I'm fixing this and uh, while I'm fixing this, uh, Bill Grieve, how do, how do you want to how do, how do you want to melt him? Uh, well, I want to melt him till he is bone, like till all his flesh falls off. He's just sitting there blowing poison at him. <laughs> Fire style poison mist jutes. <laughs> um, 
the uh, fuck? There's no option to actually un, um fix that. What the hell? I, I, for, I forgot is, though. Wait, does it does it say that his spellcasting abilities is wisdom or what does it say on his? Hold on. Uh, poison yeah, yeah, spray. Yeah, you have to, you have to change it. Yeah. Spuck. Uh, under spells, it'll be the top one that says spellcasting ability. Oh, that's why you put uh, wisdom. There we go. Um, right, so make um, sure make uh, make a, a test on that on uh, uh, sushi. Okay, okay. Um, so if I click poison spray now. Yeah. There, there we go. go. Uh, okay, there we go. All right, so yeah, so like uh, as you do, you just sp uh, no, we, 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 uh, like so it just run on uh, so right column run with. You see that that the imp like distracting him a little bit though, and uh, and also you see, uh, you spray the poison at right at them. It's like. <laughs> And you see him slowly, his flesh begin to, begin to tear, his muscles begin to ooze, the bowls become liquid, and, and as all of it turns into a puddle of mass right in front of you. And combat has ended. And we have a second potato. I'm not gonna lie, compatriot, that is absolutely horrifying. I'm glad you're on our side. <laughs> And the bow grieving your with nature again. I was, I was actually gonna say that. <laughs> That'd be disgusting if you ask me. Quite horrifying. It is all but a cycle. But then again, nature is, uh, can be pretty horrifying. Also, yes, I, I managed to put up my, uh, my, <laughs> that's like a reference to what my character looks like. I just kind of drew it on the fly. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Exactly. He should, he should look a lot thinner, but I just was like, just doing as fast as I could. Just as um, like a reference. I mean, yeah, you have time. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's a reference for me. I mean, I'll try to. Then I'll. Actual token. Then I shall make, um. I shall make another. Then hold on, then I shall uh, make the... I shall make the, then, uh, the... Avatars bigger than... Regular. There we go. Now, the, 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 the chat... Now, now Twitch can see, can see your picture. Oh, but they also, they also see the other two on, on, on uh, non-related non uh, pictures. Oh, Alright, so, yep. Well, everyone dead again. Oh, um, uh, about and then so you each get you each gain another on uh, 150. Okay. I I wasn't sure if that was accurate or not. I'm like, wait, am I right on that one? I'm not good at math. And so at a bow, it's a, a similar thing. Um, um, you're faced with an, another an, um, plinth, a glowing, a glowing plinth. On um, you see, you see it kind of like you know, kind of like um, it's doing the whole th on, uh, it's doing the whole like glowing thing and uh, uh, glowing thing and, and going from t for starting top going down. Is that you know the the glow effect that now with a lot of machinery or um, magical machinery where it, it looks like it's draining something, but you know it has a little glow, the glow thing like from, from top, top, top to bottom is going down, 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 down up to down. Hmm. You, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? Kind of, um, kind of like a hazy glow, kind of. Thing, no, well, right? not, 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 like, not like it's pulsing glow. It's more like a, it's um, like the energy is traveling in, in, in a direction, kind of that, that type of glow. Kind of like how fluid is. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like that. It, it's, it's still giving off that, 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 that little hazy glow, but then uh, you can see like the, 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 some of the stronger lines of this uh, plinth. Um, the there's a bright the bright light that's uh, that's going from from top where the floating potato ball is, and it's going down. It you can tell it's um it's most it's mostly on uh, decorative, but it's also not a, a function uh, to something, and uh, blast an R. Yeah, Blastinar on the on the, before he and uh, uh, Julius and uh, takes off the the other the other, the, the other one, you, 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 and uh, you actually uh, know where to look, look where to look where to look at this time. You see the glowing from the the plant itself is actually uh, again, and uh, stretching and stretching going from the plant going this way and and then and again and fading fading in, 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 into the um, the ground, and again heading towards the, the center of the, the center of the island. 
And as, as we take off the, uh, the little potato ball, it just like, ew, the glowing from the plinth just well, stops. This is how the island is floating. Oh, it, it's not floating. The island's not? No. Oh, I thought the island was. Yeah, I thought so too. Cause didn't did you say we came on airships or no? We came. You came on an airship because you came from the main. The you came from Sub the Hill, which is a floating island. Okay. Hmm, okay. Never mind then. Yeah, I but we just went to another floating island. Oh no, no. It, uh, 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 yeah, sorry. I I didn't make this on, on um uh, any any clear, but you're on a regular island. Okay. I mean, uh, uh, that, 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 this is how the island is floating on the water. <laughs> Well, well, anyway, uh, yeah, so you just take off a dunder plant and there. Alright. Uh, boss, um, the, the other potato balls on the ground has a little, some dirt and sticks on, onto it now. It's floating. And you can have this one. <laughs> Uh, well, well, okay. You, you see, he's, he's also you notice this whole entire time he is wing, his wings are tucked in. He so he, he's he's just floating. <laughs> Don't get addicted to that. No promises. No. No. Uh, you have salt. Uh, no, I do not. Uh, apparently, these goblins are are monsters of flavor, or lack thereof. I'm just gonna reach on the ground, pick up dirt and sprinkle it on. <laughs> the Cajun spice? Yeah, the Cajun spice. <laughs> uh. Hey, you, you see, like, and uh, he's and uh, he's flying, flowing ever and uh, gracefully. It's it's like um. You heard stories though, but it's it's like and uh, you seeing a um a, one of those pixies pixies from the Feywild on a uh, uh, fly. I had thought about taking the Feywild touched feet at one point, but we'll see about that. <laughs> Anyways. Alright, so, like, yep, uh, I mean, you have your imp and uh, just slowly but surely just chewing on this uh, softball sized and uh, uh, glob jewel of mashed potatoes. It's apparently unflavored, by the way, just pure mashed potatoes, no salt, no seasoning whatsoever. That seems to be another battle in the bag. This one was even easier. Why is it always me? You fuck! <laughs> Why is it always me? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel when I get singled out in D&D. &D yeah. Well, not recently. It was more when I was like in middle school. Uh, I, I mean, that's game. that's just me all the time, though. I was three point five, and I just always felt like they were coming after me. And I mean, that's how Fusion Worlds was the entire time. Oh, Thank you. All right. So now that we have this second ball, well, do you guys want to take the debris written one, or because I was just gonna take this new one. Oh wait, I'm still on range mode. Well, right. I mean, it's, we, it's, we can always combine them. You well, you see, you see that then, um, when you pick it, when you pick it up though, it's still floating. It, it only had, it has it and uh, the, a little bit of debris when it, when it first impacted the ground, but once it starts to stabilize, it starts to float again. So it didn't get an, um much if it just stayed in the ground rather rather than like a, a normal a normal phone of a food item. All right. So oh, it, there's there's, there's still like you know, like leaves a little bit of dirt and a little uh, some sticks but um it, but it, it flowing though it saved it and then for the most part but it's still a little bit dirty from where it landed. All right, Bast will go over and pick it up and just kind of kind of dust it off a little bit and then look at everybody and go. There's still the same amount of germs regardless of how long it was on the floor. And then I'll just. What about that three second rule. No, that's not a thing. I'll take your word. That's not how that I was works. gonna say something though, but uh, I was like, an, um, you're all casters, but uh, none, of you, none of you guys took prestidigitation. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. None of us did take that. Huh. What did I take? Oh, yeah, because I get like lightning. <laughs> as, as that one YouTuber always says, a prestidigitation is a useful spell, but it, it costs it nothing. Is. Wait, did he not take, uh, Druidcraft? Mm, I don't think I did, actually. <laughs> you, you, you take that as, as your cantrip? 
Uh, I took poison spray and shillelagh. That's my cantrips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Slowly but surely, you're starting to not sound like an, uh, you're a disappointment student and not that you're a master. You're picking traits that, that, that are like uh, 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 undruid like. <laughs> How is it undruid like? He didn't, choose, big... he didn't choose Druid Druid Craft. He didn't study in nature. <laughs> yeah, but his armor's made out of a big tree, so it's <laughs> the funny thing. I had an idea for um, Pact to the Fiend Warlock that takes the tome, and I take Druid Craft. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anyway, uh, and, uh, and, um, yeah, you, you you pick at it a little bit. They'll try to get an, every single dirt particle uh, out there. Uh, uh, um, above game, uh, uh, Edward uh, is blast like what is is blast than one of those um, nitpicky ones where like uh, they focus on on a task and uh, no matter how how tedious and minuscule is. Um, if it makes sense to the overall mission, I would say yes. I mean, we have started this; we might as well finish what we're doing. Well, then, like, would it, would it be like frequently and, and try and pick off every every individual dark particle off of this little potato ball? Well, no, because I mean, we don't necessarily know what the potato ball does other than they've been on these pedestals. Like, I'm not, I'm not planning on eating it. And to me, the imp is like an animal, so animals <laughs> eat stuff off the ground all the time. So if he wanted to eat it, I mean, you could eat the dirt. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, yeah, so you now have these two potato balls and um, two plinths and, and that are, have been, for, for, for the most part, unpowered. What's your next on a, on a goal right now? Can we combine the potato balls together? The sacred chicken ball. You could, but... Like, in, in your mind, like, in, in your mind, like, we could, but should we? We need to collect all of them first to combine them together. If we did we combine them together, it would make it easier to carry. But you're not already carrying it though, you're just giving it to the imp. <laughs> Above game, much. by the way. Above game. <laughs> Pretty much just give it to him. <laughs> he has two, now he has two balls to carry. Oh wait, I can't grab the ball. I like how you walk right up to it. Well, yeah. Isn't it socially acceptable to walk up to somebody you're giving something to instead oh. of just fucking it at them like that time i drew that character that was like could you get me a glass of water and the other character was like here and just throwing a, a glass of water at the guy so did i try to combine them <laughs> um i'm just gonna hand the ball to him and go whatever do do, do carry this what <laughs> what uh, what is our next move? <laughs> <laughs> this episode is very confused on what, what to do right now. He's like he has busy using his little child arms. He's holding two two on um softballs uh, of uh, of mashed potatoes in his hands. Uh, well, we can continue to go after all of these potato balls. Or well, I don't know. The only other option would be to go to the cave. Or just, well, unless you guys just want to forfeit the job, but I, I, I don't see that as being right. Well, if my hunch is accurate, these potato balls, as they were, might actually have something to do with the cave. So if we go there... Powering down the pillars. Which makes me think that they have something to do with some type of spell. Oh, well, carry on, my... Friend. My wayward son. Carry on, Sorry. my wayward son. My troop of the unknown. Okay, I guess we'll just continue on with grabbing potato bowls. Yeah, pretty much. We're gonna make latkes later with them. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna deep fry them and have deep fried discs of potato. Yeah. We'll call them Krillin. We'll make a store called Krillin's like Potato Balls. Boston. Oh yeah, doesn't Krillin make like a bean disc or whatever? Yeah, the destructo disc. That he rarely ever hits anything with potato, and when he does- It's just gonna be Krillin's potato disc or P Krillin's destructo disc. The ones that actually land. Yeah. We just, we just gotta find that like, he, he, landed, he landed the one time. Only cause that cell- only cause cell on that didn't- then that, that, um, uh, that wasn't moving. And it, it, 
and it went through his head, but the thing is, though, it, it, it didn't even affect him, though. In fact, it, it destroyed his Kianzon. It was like... Don't... Oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, don't forget he also lopped off Frieza's tail. Granted, he was probably trying to cut him in half. They, he did land a second hit. It's just, it wasn't where he wanted it to be, and it wasn't oh, as effective like as it could have been. out to the people that go, he ain't beating Goku, Krillin beat Goku. And yeah, Super. Anyways. <laughs> Super mad about that. He ain't beat Goku. What do you think? They just beat Goku. <laughs> <laughs> like that little just he, just, he, he beat Goku. Fuck you. Yeah. All right. So um, let's see. Uh, what's our choices and directions for the next pillar? Because I mean, we probably have to walk. We're... From, yeah, from your current direction though, you can go to the opposite end of the island. Or you, you can continue on with your and and, and uh, counterclockwise from it and counterclockwise are now on um. For, I want to use the word formation though, but formation is not, not the right word for it. Uh, our trek, our counter. Yeah. Counterclock. Oh, I guess we could do that then. I'd say counterclockwise trek then, since we've already started that way, as it were. Um, um, uh, Julius, you, you see enough, enough uh, flying behind you is uh, now your um, imp. He's holding the two balls and rough hands. He's like, he's he, he's trying to, uh, for some reason, he's trying, trying to keep them apart or something. As he's trying, to, he's also trying to see. <laughs> you can combine them if you wish, Toki. Uh, with my little baby hands. Yeah, yeah why not? You, have a, you also have a tail you could carry it in. He just goes up to your head and, and starts to sit down. And as you notice, when he just sit down, you start, you feel, you immediately feel him, uh, you immediately feel him not on your head anymore. And as like an agenda, but, uh, um, uh, uh, Bastonar and uh, Belgrieve, you, you see this and uh, very comedically, he starts floating on top of Julius' head. And when our Julius moves, even though he's floating, it, it, the, the, it moves, moves with him. Right. It's actually kind of hilarious. Well, at least you weigh less than you normally do. Very amusing. And he tries to... He, he'll try to combine it as much as he can. <laughs> and I'll say with that little hour track on... Um, okay, uh, by the time we get to the next plant, it'll be about... 3 p.m. through 3.30-ish. So, and it'll take that time to actually... By the time you get to, you'll have one giant uh, 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 potato ball. And you guys want to, like, talk about yourselves while you're doing this? I will be right back. I need to use restroom. Okay. You guys want to take a... Uh, uh, what, you guys want to take a small break? Or... Continue, continue roleplay. Well. I what? actually have to pee as well. Oh, lovely. All right, then. Uh, a quick, um... Ten minute, uh, uh, quick, uh, not ten, uh, ten minute break. Uh -huh. okay. We we can reconvene at at, uh, at um in ten minutes. Alright. Back soon. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pee myself. The filling space. Filling space. I like that my brother didn't turn off his microphone. Do I have? No, I bought a second one. I already drank it. I'm gonna need that one for later. Damn it. Good one. Arcadum, when are you gonna give us our own <laughs> our own D, D session? We're terrible at it. It could be the lame group. It'd be great. I'd fucking I don't know. I feel like I'd jump at the opportunity to have uh, Arcadum DM the head boys uh, a session. Although it would never work out because Jared's schedule's too like hectic in order to do something like that. So it'd kind of suck egg water, but. Why is everybody all of a sudden everybody's playing Oblivion? It's a very weird and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. How do you 
how do you do wholesome platonic ludity? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well, at least she didn't pick Argonian. That's always good. Speaking of playing, I need to play this on Tuesday. I'll probably... I'll probably play Oblivion on Tuesday. I'm glad I got to fire off a spell, because the, the last game I didn't use any magic. And I was sitting there, like, going, oh, if I use magic. But I keep forgetting that I have cantrips. Although, literally, Mold Earth is more... It's more of a utility spell. And it's only... It's not... It's only really good for, like... I mean, I can, like, pull all the dirt up. <laughs> up it away, and then just push myself down into the ground. <laughs> into a hole. To, like, protect myself. Uh, I also have magic missile and shield. But it is somatic as well. I mean, technically my shield hand is free, but I mean... Because, I mean, I could just have it, like, I could just let go and just do the little ju jutsu hand signs. My jutsus. But I only get, oh, okay. But I only have two level one spell slots, even though I'm level three. Where is? Oh, I'm gonna look that up right now. Just I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna look at my characters' class features because <laughs> I never remember anything ever. I, I'm back. Hey. Uh, hey. How much time do I have left? I should probably get up and go P2 just to make sure, but yeah, I just minutes. didn't want to leave your Okay. I didn't want to leave your stream hanging, so I just filled the space as best as possible. I'm also drawing a funny picture. Funny pictori. Yeah, funny pictori. Did you see in memes what I posted? I mean I mine actually fucking tend to fit the narrative more or less. <laughs> my favorite one. I tried to find a good one of like the Suchikage doing that like acid spit shit, but I couldn't find one that wasn't just her spitting on the trees. And I'm just like, that feels like the opposite of what Bella stands for. But whatever. Back to nature with you. And then the uh, the the Cajun spice thing for uh, <laughs> Julius and his imp asking for salt. I don't you know. I never actually had latkes. I don't think I've had latkes either, actually. Yeah, according to Rugrats, it's basically just an um, uh, mashed potato on uh, on uh, deep fried mashed potato pancakes. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> tree, 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 tree. <laughs> yeah, that is technically how a druid should respond to things. Um, I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. How much time do I have? I have... Hello there, Chiet. I'm all alone. No one here beside me. I'm all alone. No one here to deride me. I don't know the words of the song. I just say, say stuff. For those on Twitch, how you like the adventure? And for those on YouTube, and on, uh, please, and on, on, uh, how, how you guys like the adventure? As I, as I wait for my players to come back from their um, respective bathroom breaks. I am back. Welcome back. Oh. Alright. So what's happened so far? Um, Edward went to the restroom right now. Oh, okay, well then actually I'll go and grab a drink. <laughs> okay. 
I'll be again right back. All right then. That's for you, chat, and you also you on YouTube. Um, make sure you're stay staying healthy, staying hydrated. Remember to uh, um. Don't always be cramped in front of your computer. Make sure you stretch your water and drink your legs. I like how I decided to leave my door open so that air would flow through. The moment I did that, a helicopter started flying over my house. Mm, okay. Hmm? I... I was going through and I saw the Krillin one and I just realized like Krillin's not moving but his destructo disc certainly is. It's like wait, what? What? I'm sorry, what? It means. Uh Krillin is sitting there with the destructo disc, the gift. Oh. oh yeah, that one. And it's just like the destructo disc is the only thing in the picture moving. I'm like, wait, wasn't there also like dirt in the background blowing up and stuff like that? Oh, yeah. All the dishes that are, that are there, that are there. Wait, Goku? Wait, where'd my phone go? Hang on. <laughs> Hold on, I left my phone and I almost said in my girlfriend, fuck. What? <laughs> in, what? In my room with my girlfriend. Oh, he, he was like, where'd I put my phone at? And he's like, ah, oh, hold up. And he like took off and I'm just sitting there like, hold up. I left my phone inside and I almost said my girlfriend. It's like, wait, wait. Make it back, grab the track. No, I don't want to favorite my own picture. Get out of here. Get out here with that mess. <laughs> Fuck that song, man. I can't stop listening to it. What the fuck? No. Oh. When did you get back? I just got back right now. When? Why? How? Oh, you don't want me here? I'll leave. What? No, I'm just... When? <laughs> Ow. Hey. Came back with a minute to spare. Yeah, I just got back. I got my food again. What's the image, baby? Oh, God. <laughs> my brother just died. <laughs> He's got water poisoning. It's true. It's damn true. Death arrived. It's, it's all that fluoride, right? Yeah, that fluoride. <laughs> all that Florida brand fluoride. 45 minutes later. It's all that Flint, Michigan water, right? What the fuck? I only drink from Flint, Michigan. I get my water bottled from Flint, Michigan. <laughs> I don't get the joke, but okay. Finally. Have you ever heard about the water crisis over there in Flint, Michigan? No. It's like their water is basically undrinkable. Oh, well, that's it has, like, not basically crazy. undrinkable. It is undrinkable. It is undrinkable, yeah. It has a crazy amount of, like, what is it? Lead. Uh, lead and stuff. Oh, God. That's not good. Yeah, and, like, the, the, apparently they're, on, um, the mayor and governor are doing nothing about it. It's also, okay, the, reason why it, it's also the reason why they drink all, the most, I think, amount of soda than anywhere else in the U.S. <laughs> And it's, cheaper, no. and it's cheaper for you to buy soda there than water. Oh, God. Something crazy that, like that, yeah. That's a great picture, my dude. <laughs> crap. Nope. Nature. <laughs> what? It's in memes. Uh. Is that my character? Yes. <laughs> because I said your, your, your armor was made of a big tree. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Just a big tree. Uh. All right, so like um, I okay, so hold on. Just let me um get this, get this. Oh no, he's performing the substitution. All right, so uh, you you uh, you, you see the uh, um for for Julius and uh you can. Guess what your imp is doing, per your orders. For Bill Grieve and uh, for, for Bill Grieve and Bastinar, you, you, again, you and um, I don't I don't know if you find this hilarious and and um uh, for you two, but if you see him floating on top on top of Julius's head, but um he's not staying on uh, in the air and um he's actually, for some reason though he's and um flo uh, floating along with uh, how um how Julius is walking. 
and and uh, and keeping pace, and he's trying to furiously try to and uh, combine the two of Martina balls. Interesting and, and hilarious. Uh, anything you guys want to um, talk about or do? You? So, are these potato balls just the secret to these goblins? I know we were all very confused about the flying goblins, but. Is this just... is this their secret? It could be their source. Also, why mashed potatoes? Why did you sound like, um, that Naruto, uh, that, what was that series? The Cooking with Naruto series? It was the second episode, and it's like, is this such and such? Is this the person I... It's not cooking, it was, uh, it was like... It was just general education things. Like I think that was the sex ed one, though. And it's like it's talking it's about. It's <laughs> it's like why do you sound like that? <laughs> Shut up! That's why. <laughs> Shut up and role play. Monkey Butler. <laughs> butler more like it. It's probably what's causing <laughs> the supply. I don't know what's in the cave, but maybe it's more of mashed potatoes. Why mashed potatoes, though? The power of mashed potatoes. Why is it unseasoned mashed potatoes? Is the best who is who is that? That, that, that doesn't sound like Bell Grief. <laughs> we're, we're are we being attacked by the fourth wall? The fourth Apparently. wall? Apparently. Where's, where's Golden Showers? <laughs> golden Showers? Oh, God, no. <laughs> no. Thought we escaped him. <laughs> oh. That happened in the game. Okay. <laughs> Forget about that. <laughs> Rolls a dice, knocks over one of the the enemy tokens. That that happened in the game. Fourth wall breaking. Good good job. But uh, any words from the plants, my friend? Can you even talk to plants? I hear that uh, people like him can talk to the plants. I am Bell Grieve. I speak for the trees. <laughs> but for some odd reason. <laughs> I'm not going to finish that mentioned... statement. <laughs> well, I'm just sitting here staring at him, waiting for an answer. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. People people are texting me and stuff. Sorry, uh... sorry game. What I am oh, Bell Grieve. I speak for the trees. If you don't re respect my wishes, then I'll break your knees. I was just like, uh, do the plants say anything to you? Not knowing that you don't have druidcraft. The and then I was like, do not speak like... to me. <laughs> can, can you speak to the other fish then? I do not speak to the animals. You Not know. you, but Bass, the, the king of the sea over here. What? Do you, do you speak to fish? Is that a fish? Thing? Fish do not possess voice boxes, therefore they would not be able to speak. What about tele telepathically? I don't know if you know this, but fish aren't exactly smart. If they were, they wouldn't get caught so often. Hmm. You've given me a lot to think about. <laughs> how, does one, how does one fish people become fish people? What do you mean, how do they become fish what people? Were you we've, created that way, or did you... We've always been, I don't... How does a people become a people? When a mother and a father love... I, no, 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 I already know the mechanics of it. I'm just being an ass. Hey! Cool with your show, play nice! Right now. <laughs> Rats judo throwing each other. Oh, look, uh, out of game. Did you know that Rats Greco Roman fight? Basically? Really? It's the funniest shit. Like, they grab each other and then they start jockeying for position and start pushing each other down. And they'll throw each other, too. But, uh,. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> hey, Edward, do you want to keep the pictures okay, or, you want, you know, or do you want the, uh, your picture? 
Yeah, they also they also make squeaky noises when they wrestle, so that's why I turned around and told them to knock it off. Uh, Pe uh Edward, you want you want to keep the pressure token, or do you want or do you want uh, now your um your picture? Um, I, mean, I guess the picture. Are you gonna put it in a circular thing, or are you just gonna leave it as is? Because I mean, it's um, not the finished product. So I I'm gonna leave it as is because one, it's not finished, and two, I have to download it first. All right. Well then, yeah, we can just use that. The token or on, um, the picture? Uh, the picture. Alright. And... Yep. Blip. Um... Yeah, hopefully then, uh, you, have, you have control over it. Alright, so uh, after I uh, 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 go that uh, on uh, uh, walking, like, easier. <clears throat> ah, finally, it's done. Like, ah, I have a lot to carry now. And it's roughly about the... Um, hmm. Again, I'm, 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 I can't say basketball, so yeah, roughly about um, a little smaller, smaller compared to a volleyball. Hmm. But you can say that just fun. Well, well, well. Like, uh, it's uh, again, it's it's, du it's double that of, of a softball because you know it's two softballs merged into one. Ah, uh, uh, all right, fair enough. It's almost like a dodgeball size. About maybe a little smaller, but he's only like, 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 like uh, there, it's done. Oh, so good, though. Good job, Toki. It's not my name, damn it. <laughs> Anyways, Toki. <laughs> All right, so you uh, head towards the, the side of the, of the third, um, the, the third plinth. And again, you see the goblins. Uh, that they are facing this way. As remember from, from your previous investigation, though, that, that that's where that's where the shoreline. That, that that's where the that that's the direction of the shoreline. Oh. And well, I think yeah. at this point, we already know that talking to them is not really gonna work. <laughs> we're too stupid to know. No, not we're stupid. not they're stupid. Just... They're stupid. That's the they're, the, they're the stupid one. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, a a am I in the wrong for not taking up Goblin? No. No. They're the, they're the ones. The that, they're the ones. Goblin is a dead goblin. Like, no, Goblin's they're the ones. Um, they're, like, like, am I in the wrong for not picking up the Goblin language? No. They're in the wrong for not picking up the common language. Yeah, pretty much. Those plebeians, they don't know how to speak common. Everyone knows how to speak common. That's why it's called common. Yeah. Right, so anyway, it's the uh, same thing. Two guards in the front and a flying gun, uh, fly, flying one, and uh, with a bow and arrow uh, in the back. He's uh, roughly about on uh, uh, fifteen feet up. This is how I imagine doing it when that happens. They look like dorks. <laughs> Um, um, <laughs> Edward, do you have, do you have control or, or, or are we talking? Uh, let me double check. Sorry. Uh, yes. Look at me do a little, I'm doing like the fucking dance that the guy did from WWE. Hold up. I can't see you guys. I'm, I'm a French like, guy. Oh, I'm left. French guy. Oh, you're below me. Okay. Yeah, I'm a French guy. <laughs> okay. okay. Cocaine. Cocaine. Uh, sure. I'll use, I'll use this, this. <laughs> is your family missing? Think about it. Alright, so, what's your plan now? We might as well just start blasting from here. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna have to post that now in me. <laughs> so I start blasting. <laughs> Anyways, I started blasting. And I just pulled out both guns, but it's both Eldritch Blasts, I'm just firing. Uh, which one is flying? Is it the one in yellow? Yep, the one with the mark and, and the one with the little weird mark and and and, and the yellow on uh, no, the yellow one, as per usual. That's probably the one that we should take out first, right? Yep. Are you guys gonna try to get into position? Um. Yeah, yeah. Again, again, again they, they haven't they haven't seen you yet. And uh, um, if you attack them, if you attack them now, uh, you won't be doing it from stealth, but now you just take them take them take them by surprise. How do I pull up, like, the see how far I can move? Uh, it's the ruler um, on the little, uh, dude, there's, like, a, up at the top right, or top left, sorry. There's a little, yeah. That's me. Oh, sorry. 
There's uh, like the arrow and the paintbrush, and then there's like a ruler and a I circle. Can kill all these guys with Aldrich Blast. There's oh, like a little thing. Okay. Yeah, there should be like a little toolbar. Cool toolbar. So can move up here. Well, we're not in combat. We're not in combat, and they haven't seen you yet, so you can't actually move uh, yourself on um. um so wait, which way are they looking? Good. They are. They are looking the, 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 this way. Uh, how high is this guy right here? He's about 15 feet. So he's actually out of my range. Yeah, um, away from me. I can still hit him. I feel like I should move... Like here? I'm, I'm gonna move right there. If you're moving that close, uh, roll me a stealth check. You know, I, that's I was correct. Don't seeing how, how far I can actually move with, like, when we start combat. Okay. So anyways, I started Eldritch Blast. Okay. I'll move right here. Discord apparently doesn't know the word operanda. It keeps right. saying it's spelled wrong, but that's right. Oh, yeah, and, and, um, so right. Make a stealth check, right? Why are you moving? Uh, no, move, move, move your token. Uh, hold on. I, I'm going to. So it's like right here? I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, roll me, roll me a stealth check. Stealth check? Okay. Are, are you wearing any uh, heavy armor? No. Alright then. Oh, wait until you, wait until you get the high, high level druid spell that gives you plus ten in stealth. Eighteen. Oh yeah, then they don't see you. Like they're, right. they're too busy with their uh, 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 then uh, with their duties. You, you, you see them like a like a like you see the the the, the, the two front the front front ones with their scimitars out going and just casually scratching their ass. All right, well I'm in position then. All right, I'm in position as well. <laughs> Laugh all you like. Eldritch Blast has a hundred and twenty foot range. That is I know. true. And Eldritch Blast is ridiculous. so good. It's really okay, good. We're, we're not in combat, yeah, correct? We're not, we're not in combat. Like a magic sniper rifle. Okay, I guess I'll just move. No, no uh, a, magic sniper, a magic sniper rifle is where like, an, uh, he can double that range. Spell sniper plus the Eldritch Invocation that makes it lar longer? Let's see. So... So, it, 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 and, um, if you get that, uh, no, the uh, average invocation though, that, that, that doubles it though, what's your range on, uh, what's your range on, uh, from there? Right there. <laughs> I'm just gonna um, sit in a holding. Wait, let me see, cause it's, I think it actually moves it up to like 300 or something. I, I yeah, mean, it actually moves it up to 300. Jesus. And you, then you take Spell Sniper? And that increase, doesn't it increase it like, does that, does it double it, I think? Yeah, it doubles. <laughs> 600 range. Working <laughs> <laughs> into the winning drastic go down. He's, he's just in a ghillie suit shooting long <laughs> chains of lightning, like oh, purple I lightning at people. <laughs> it ignores half cover and three quarters cover. Alright, so anyway, and um, wait, uh, B uh, no, Bast, are you making your, 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 your presence known? Um, I'm gonna do it since I already know that we're gonna start fighting these things, anyways. I'm gonna run up here and just chuck my my trident again. Uh, so you're you're initiating. So you're the one that that's initiating the, the surprise round then. Yes. And uh, who 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 are you fight on 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 uh, throwing it to? Oh wait wait wait! Oh fuck! Nope, ignore that, please. I'm he's ignore... flying, right? I forgot about that. Yeah, he's 15 feet 15 feet up. 15 feet up. Fuck. Okay, so I have to like, eh, and then I'm gonna throw. All right. Then. And I'm not trying. To, I'm not trying to stealth. I just just look straight up at him and throw. Yep. You you you. This is a surprise round, so uh, you cut them. You cut them. You cut them by surprise. Oh yeah, double twenty fours, baby. Yep. That the hits. So I go ahead and roll damage. I wish it had been a crit. That would have been awesome. Ooh, eight damage. Yeah. You you dope. you <sighs> see the trident. Like you know, the 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 top part of the trident though go through his chest and 
through his body and like he's slumped over in the middle of your shaft and he slowly but surely he just <laughs> falls to the ground <laughs> spins to the ground <laughs> basically um you two um what are you guys doing i'm gonna eldritch blast the blue guy all right then eldritch blast hit hit ah. i'm gonna roll severity he's gonna roll severius <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> like, oh. Brother, help. wait did he roll oh okay he got a seven he got a one I got a one plus. Nat one. First nat one of the session. Well, well, well battle in nat game. one. Battle nat one in, in the game. So I'm, I'm going to roll severity and see how severe your nat one is. He's going to roll severius. You're dead. Oh. <laughs> you have a heart attack. You grab your neck and you squeeze real hard until you see black. That might be, that might be a case. I, I rolled a 15, a 15 out of a D, a D100. So, um, Julius, roll, roll damage. Okay. Uh, you take half of that and, uh, as damage, as an, uh, it kind of misfires in your hand. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so it's my turn still, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Well, then I guess I'm just gonna go right up here and use Poison Mist, or Poison Stray. You just run up, uh, run up, ah, Poison! <laughs> Sage art poison spit. Only four damage this time. Oh yeah, he doesn't pass that. He, he takes the the, the 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 four damage. Like, <laughs> and roll initiative as he he sees and distraught that his uh, the, the the squad leader is down. Oh, no! Ah, that's too loud! That's too... Could there we go. I turn my music down low earlier? That would have sucked. Alright, what are we rolling initiative? Yep. What are we blasting guys? <laughs> blasting Woodwards? Yeah. Oh, yeah! 16! <laughs> A very normal initiative! <laughs> Initiative, although he's probably not going to do anything. Uh, okay, Julius. Well, 21. Bell Grieve. Uh, t uh, modest 10. Bass to 16. Alright, then let's see what the gobbles get. 37. 34. 408. And Julius Imp. Um, yeah, Gal's got a 10. Is it gobble number one? Oh wow. Jeez. Gobble number two. Gobble number one actually tied on a... Uh, uh, Julius, what's your uh, uh, dexterity? My dexterity? Your, 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 your dex modifier. Oh, it's a three. Oh, okay, yeah, no, okay then. You're, you're 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 faster than than him then. He he rolled the same he rolled the the same twenty one as you. Ah, huh. shit. Lower this music just a, just a tad bit. What the hell did you put? You strangle yourself until you see like Roy Phasma. <laughs> strangle yourself. You ain't. All right, so Julius, it's, it, Julius, it's your turn. Uh, you, you you're feeling a little pain as an uh, on uh, the the Elder Splash on the on the fucking bone chain misfired and uh, on like. Uh, half of it, then you felt and uh, 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 dispersed into the air. While well, the other half, and uh, 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 one back to you. Mm, I do pack quite a punch. And so, God damn it! I just realized. <laughs> what you're who, who, who are you aiming at? Uh, blue one again. Blue. Yeah, I missed. Uh, as you do, and, and uh, the, this time the the blue one actually see and um, look, 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 uh, and uh, it makes up. It makes. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Anyway, the, the, the ah shit no. The blue goblin that actually sent, uh, sees like uh, the rustle in the trees as this little holy bolt of energy that just shoots through and just blocks it with a shield. Now for the red one. And hold on, who is the closest enemy? Actually, kind of. 
Actually, no, he, he'll probably uh, not see like he's uh, not going to him, so he'll go towards you and, uh, and tries to and, um, chop you with his uh, his scimitar. I'm pretty sure a 17 hits you. Does it, though? Does Wait, it pass? Oh. Uh, you. Oh, me? Yeah. What did you say it was? A 17. No, it doesn't. Really? Yeah. I think he has 18, right? Because I have my scale mail, which gives me 14 plus my dex, which is 1, and then I have the shield, which is plus 2, and then I have defensive fighting, which is another plus 1. So you're at 19? 18. <laughs> Oh yeah, so barely, so barely, and, uh, and uh, you were a little bit distracted with that little ball of energy. Then uh, you, you see the goblin like, just yell, you're running, Aah! like, and you, you suddenly you know uh, bring up your shield and like, clink, like, like, Aah! look down menacingly at him and go, hail. <laughs> and uh, and with that, it, it is your turn. <laughs> All right. Uh, he is super in my face, so I'm not going to cast a spell at him. Although I could... No, I'm going to save that for later. I only have two level one spell slots. I was going to try and bust his ass with Thunder Wave. <laughs> 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 he could be on the ground doing it. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> dude. All right. So, as I look down at him and I go, Hail, I'm just going to hold my hand out. My tri The trident's going to disappear from the, from the other goblin's body and into my hand. And then I'm just gonna make a strike with it, I guess. All right. Melee at him. Uh, where is my melee? There we go. Not the two-handed one, you doomcov. Oh fuck. He just blocks. He, he uh, looking at it, though. He's surprised that he just called a, a random magical trident, but she just blocks it with his leather shield. <laughs> Finally, a worthy opponent. <laughs> I'm not gonna be legendary. <laughs> Your death shall be the thing that the dolphins sing about for years to come. Belgrave, it's your, it's your turn. Elephant oh, seals never uh, forget. Poison spray. Alright All right, then. When in doubt, poison spray. <laughs> and let's see him. And Colin, oh no, that that's an eleven. So again, he you just turn this one into in, in into basically a uh, plant fertilizer, and it just black. You are one with nature again. <laughs> it's the imp's turn. If you care about the imp, he really can't do much. So <laughs> all right, all right then. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be praising the sun with the potato ball. I'll have to turn order. Uh, now, Julius, it's your turn now. Alright. As you're, you're having a, a bad time this time on, on, on Julius. Yeah. Fuck it. Alright, I'm going to shoot the red guy. With the blast of the Eldritch variety. <laughs> there we go. This time you, uh, uh, this time you, uh, you feel like some sort of like angelic force that gu uh, guides your bolt as you just uh, sh uh, sh uh, shoot on through. And go ahead and roll damage. And as an uh, as a uh, bastard, as you and this goblin are having this little <laughs> duel of like hitting each other's shields, you see his head just get lopped off by some sort of a a angelic beam. Like, <laughs> well then, Com comment as I did. Well, <laughs> I guess we're tied then for kills this round. And you each gained another 150 on experience. All right. Tree fitty. One thousand tree fitty. We all looks like we also have another potato. Oh, we have to add the next potato ball. Dude, we've almost collected all four. We can summon Potato Shenron. Damn it. Potato Tron. Potato Tron. Potato Tron. Sean Tron just made as a potato guy. Ah, Master. Do you think any talks about Flex Seal non stuff? Yes. Yeah. The magical properties. Ah, Master, you're not going to tell me to combine that into this one, are you? Yep, get combined. 
<laughs> he just goes over and like, <laughs> and as per usual. Like as per usual, as per usual, you you see on on um, you see you see on on uh, the police going, Ew. Right. Hooray. and he and he'll he'll start making the 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 the, the things that I'm trying to combine like, still need salt. So, what do you Yet another one down. Are we all ready for the third one? There's only one more. Or fourth, actually. You are correct. I suppose we should get to it. Making haste makes waste. As, as they say. Uh, That's not what they say. Okay. At, at, at this point, though, it's, it, it is starting to get dark, and uh, it's roughly about 4 or 5, and um, it's not really, you know, full-on sundown, but uh, you can see uh, that the light is not, is becoming more dim, uh, more dim and dim. You estimate that, that uh, by the time we reach the cave, though, it, it might get on um, um, sundown. Well, maybe we should make camp, then. But uh, it, as of right now, it's not dark. It's roughly about 3, 30, 4, 4 oh. o'clock. Yeah. So we can get to the next one. It will be around like five-ish. Around, yeah, around. That, that's that's probably when we would want to think about setting up camp. Or we could try to attack them in the dark. Revelry in the dark. <laughs> I mean, I have no problem doing that. My imp has no problem doing that. Alone in the dark. I mean, above game do all you have dark vision? Mm, let me double check. I don't think I do, though. Actually, yeah. Wait, let me double check. I don't think the lights have dark vision. Ironically, and uh, I don't think dwarves either. You know, they're supposed to be a and, um a cavernous uh, people. Oh yeah, no. Uh, you guys threw the short end of the stick by not choosing warlock and taking devil sight. <laughs> I don't know why my control F isn't working. That sucks. Uh... Uh, it appears that I do not. Oh. Dark vision, let's see. Well, um, Goliath, Goliath Stew. Oh, okay. You can also learn it from being a druid, apparently. But Goliaths do not. A pair of Goliaths doesn't actually have dark vision. Yeah, Goliaths have dark vision. That's what it says in the races for. Mm. Uh... All right then. So um. Yeah, D and D five E, right? All right. And so it'll, it'll, it'll take yeah. about an, another an hour or so to actually get reach the very last plinth, and. Yeah, and... They, they have. Goliaths have regular dark vision like most other like priests. Like, that's, that's what it's yeah, that's what it says on uh, right here. But is it in the Dungeon Magic Scout is it in the actual on, um races on um in the book? I think so. Hold on. I could look it up. I mean if not, it doesn't matter, I'll just eventually learn it with Druid. I think Druids do get something like that, right? Yeah, Druids can take a spell. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing it on D and D Beyond either. It's weird. D and D on, Beyond. On people are, we're talking about it, so I was like, oh, okay. Mm. It doesn't matter. I don't know if you can trust Reddit. Yeah, you can trust Reddit as uh, mm -hmm. Reddit as far as you can throw it. <laughs> so, so none. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah no. pretty much. Reddit people are either like really good, like they they're helpful, or they're like really bad. Yeah. Oh wait, hold on. No, that's not mine. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was. It's a different race. That's what vampire. Race are you, by the way? Ed? Merfolk. Merfolk. Okay. I I I I would assume merfolk have it, right? Like, you would what assume that. Are you? Uh, from Plainship Zendikar. 
Yeah, you would assume think, you would assume that though, but the thing is, the one, isn't there the ones that they have like the lanterns on their head? No. No. Zendikar or that Pathfinder? Creed. Uh, Water Creed, or yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it doesn't, none of them have dark vision to my knowledge. Yeah, so. yeah, what kind of glass are you on uh, um, uh, sushi? Um, I don't the know. Kind it's one that was in both. Uh, guide okay, monsters. okay, then yeah. According to this, one, you, you, you don't get on uh, dark vision. You just have stone yeah. endurance, powerful build, mountain born, yep. Yep. and and mountain born. That's it. You're basically a Nord Which from I... you're basically a Nord from Skyrim. Yeah, it helps me with. Uh, well, I also have the thing where I can carry like a lot of weight. Yeah, you're classified as as, as a huge character. You know, you know, you're medium. Like, like I'm still not carrying to carrying capacity. Yep. So hmm. I can push things stronger than others. So can like a, a goblin, for example, ride him as a mount? No, his size category oh, is um. I'm medium. He's okay, medium, nice. but his strength is equal, equivalent to, to a huge character. What if a wizard were you? <laughs> In large. God damn it. Alright, so, uh, anyway, so, and, um, yeah. Uh, it'll take about like, an hour. You guys want to, like, and, um, talk about yourselves on the, within that time while your goblet, while your imp is, like, furiously, uh, again, trying to combine his big, his very, very big potato ball with this uh, the little smaller potato ball. Um, as he's combining it. So, any family you guys have? I cannot remember my family's faces. But I do have some. I have not seen my family in quite some time. Hmm. I can relate. A couple of years. But, hmm. I wonder if they're doing okay. I assume they are doing fine. How are you doing? I mean, you kinda... Yeah. ...blasted yourself in that last fight. Uh, short of a few, uh, nicks and a little bit of burning. Not too much. Damage done. Huh. I'll recover. I do pack quite a punch, as you can tell. Mm hmm you see, like, right you, air, you see, like, singed marks coming off of his, um, his little ball and chain and his fingers. Just a little polish will make it shine bright. Like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> 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 and... As you and uh, slowly get to, uh, to the last one, you see like, ah, there, finally, and he's now he's basically now holding a a basketball sized uh, potato ball. <laughs> I see that uh, you've done quite well for yourself there, Toki. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, you better give me some butter and chives with this as well. Oh, it's sour cream. I love sour cream. Well, don't eat all. Of you could be using that for something later. No promises. No. And you get to the last site. It, uh, this time will be about like um. It's it, this time you, it's it's about like on uh, like four thirty ish and uh, on uh, um four thirty to five. It it it's it, the sun is roughly about uh, going on that time. And you, you reach on uh, this this part of the map, uh, this part, and again. They're facing this way, and because you can tell that that's where the shoreline is. Well, at this point, I think we've gotten this down to us to a science, don't we? Of just killing the enemy first, essentially. Mm. Don't get me wrong; it's a good kill. All right, so how f how high up is this flying enemy, Kenshin? <laughs> uh, ten feet. Ten feet. Okay. Uh, ten feet. So why should it be? That should work. I go there. So wait, so they're looking this way? No, no. they're looking no. this way. Oh, okay, they're looking that way. 
Well, not ever the master of surprises. I say we surprise them. Surprise! Give them something to be surprised about. Yeah. You said yellow boy here was uh, 10 feet, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's 10 feet. Alright. Okay. I thought you were going to say I. I don't care. I, mean, uh, I don't like that. Okay, so... Given that we've already done this several times, mm -hmm. uh, Bass is just going to immediately run in and huck, <laughs> huck his... Uh, before you do that, do you want, want to get into, into position first? I asked her. I'm going to be by the tree. Okay. Um, it could be under the tree. I guess under the tree. right over here as well. Oh, oh yes. I guess in your end button that follows you. He's going to get... He's gonna get stuck under the tree because his tree armor's branches are gonna get damaged. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, second first same as the first, and um, go go ahead, uh, Bastinar, and huck your giant fork. Uh. Oh, double seven, baby. <laughs> Like you throw it and like it, it, it basically just just, just like an, an, an it equates to like an uh, it equates to like huh 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 oh. The worst part about this is is that I have the three D <laughs> dice on, so it rolled the eighteen and then the other die hit the other one and they both rolled the two. Yeah. <laughs> that is so lame. And okay, and then how how about you two? Who are you hitting? <laughs> on who? Uh, let me do the blue guy. Alright, oh, yeah, that, that hits. Roll your damage. <laughs> and immediately the, through the chest, a hole in, in the chest itself. It's like, <laughs> That's for the last. Uh, he's 10 feet up, by the way. Yeah, he's 10 feet up, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to move there. And I'll attack the yellow one with poison. <laughs> Yeah. I, could, I could be an asshole and throw out thunder wave. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll use poison spray on him. All right, then. I'm gonna roll two damage. I'm not fucking nice two damage. He resists your two damage and by flying slightly above your spray. Oh wait, is it not? Wait, is it not be adding in my uh my damage to it? Um, what the hell? Right? Yeah, it's not. It is it's not <laughs> is it, wait, how does poison spray work again? Oh no, it's just 1 die 12, right? I don't add anything. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah he... I was thinking about that, I was like, wait. My Elder's Blast with uh, Agonizing Blast on top. Well, that, uh, uh, yeah, that, uh, do not add your, uh, your, um, your, 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 your focusing ability to, 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 to towards, uh, I don't, uh, I, I don't it doesn't not say that. It's a spell. No, because it's not. A, it's not a. It's not it's a not spell a attack. Spell like that. No, it, it it deals like 1d12 poison damage. It doesn't. Yeah, it deals it. a specific type of damage. Okay. Uh, that's listed in the spell itself. So he doesn't add anything to it because it's not an actual like spell. It'd be like if I if I cast firebolt, then it'll add my bonus to it. But uh, poison spray is just a. Uh, it's a. It's against. Oh yeah, yeah. The the damage is yeah, as the Again, the damage is an after effect of the of the field yes. of the field yes. check. Yes. Yeah. Because yes. now uh, you won't. Because at fifth level, it becomes two d twelve. Fancy. All right. So yeah, but uh, well, regardless, though, he still passed the costume check by by uh, by flying slightly above your spray, and with that, <laughs> and roll for initiative. Of course. It landed right on 18. I hate the fucking 3D dice because it makes it even worse when you don't roll high. And it's literally like 18? No. That's why I'm saying like a Telspar might be a bit better. Yeah. I well, uh, Julius is twelve. I'm guessing you want your imp uh, to be after you. Yeah, not that he'll be doing much since he's potato sitting. No. Bass is a six. Bill Grieve is a fifteen. Uh oh yeah, the blue one's dead. Uh, 
All right, so gobble number one. Oh wow, gobble tits. Hey, don't awaken everyone's new kink. It's not everybody's; it's just mine. I thought the new one was a uh, tall lady because of the girl. Yeah, the tall lady uh, stuff on me, right? Yeah. yeah. Also, someone made a it... mod to swat her ass. Oh, yeah. God. Well, really? <laughs> yeah, I'll put it in the memes. Why does? <laughs> Is Why there does also anybody? A mod where it makes her boobs like super jiggly. Oh. <laughs> Why? Why? I forgot. I forgot. Guy's dad's name was Die. Dad's name was Die. What? Yeah, his name is Might Die. Might if, die. if your name is Might Die, you should give up on being a ninja. I'm sorry. I Might Die. Wait. So who is he? Who's who's the Okage when uh, when uh, when when Mike Guy's dad was still getting? Just let me die. Um. <laughs> You know, was, that's a good question. I don't think I don't. I've never really thought about the timeline before. If it was the uh, second Hokage, then he's like the worst Hokage that that the that, 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 that village ever had. He is not only an, a racist but also elitist. Uh. Well, anyway, Bell Grieve, it's your turn. As an, uh, um, you see this gob uh, gobble just and uh, the sli fly slightly uh, and, uh, out of your spray. <laughs> it's two times in a row it's fun. <laughs> I, I'ma fucking do it again. Wanna see me do it again? Fucking hell. <laughs> this time it caught his feet and like <clears throat> And he takes an, an, an a four poison damage as like his he started to waver a little bit. His feet are slowly oh, melting. <laughs> the Julius, it's your turn. Cause I'm about to just fucking, yeah, I'm about to just uh, drop something heavy, like the heaviest fucking spell if it hits. Uh huh. <laughs> it fucking oh, hit. God. Oh God. Oh, who are you hitting? Who are you, red or yellow? Uh, I'm the red. All right then. Yeah, roll Remember damage. That warlocks can only cast at what spell slot they have, so I have a spell slot of two, so it can only go to a level two. Uh huh. <laughs> you blew his body. The only thing left of him is just it's just limbs. And <laughs> he's going over that cliff. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and it's two ones. And when you rolled two ones, yeah, I rolled a four, oh. two ones, a two, and a three. <laughs> So and and the, and I'm um, pretty sure uh, and, and uh, he glows to make everyone every hit on him and and, and um, advantage. So his little eviscera is still glowing, even though he's dead. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> he's destroyed. That forty five d six on a level two spell, seriously? Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that, as Jokat says, though, you, you you don't cast much, but when you do, you cast hard. <laughs> so, the imp's turn. Ow! He's fucked. <laughs> He's just gonna cheer and go, way to go! Like, way to go, boss, you can do it! <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> Bastard, no, your turn. Alright, well... Sorry, it's not my fault. Alright, well, that's time for me to... Try and win glory. I like that I didn't put anything in the description for Firebolt. That's always cool. Uh, but he's gonna reach down to the the giant pearl on his uh, on his waist, and he's gonna pull up a ball of light, and he's just gonna chuck a fireball. He's still in the air, right? Like I'm not just yeah. He's still tipping in the air, okay. but he's wa wavering a little bit. All right, so he's definitely not within melee range. So suck it. <clears throat> Yeah! Yeah, that hits. Roll damage. Time for a good old fashioned goblin fry. That didn't. I, I wasn't thinking when I did that one. Ooh. <laughs> he catches literally on fire. <laughs> and something uh, something with the poison uh, actually becomes a little ball. Uh, something with the poison and, uh, from oh, from on, uh, from Bell Grief um, doesn't mix well with the fire. And it just BOOM! His whole entire body explodes into viscera. And bam. 
Um, wow, I that... was not expecting that. Wow, I'm just, I just teleport my trident back to my hand while staring where this goblin used to be. And with that, like, uh, let me guess, boss. Uh, we'll combine this ball with that ball. As he, you know, he's flowing though. He's having a hard time flowing over with his basketball sized on, on a potato ball. Basketball sized balls. <laughs> You hear that, Susie? So and so likes balls. <laughs> oh, now we can wait. We can combine all four uh, potato balls to summon uh, Potato Tron. And with that, pew, uh, he goes and uh, takes it off and tries to combine it again. No, 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 All right. And you enjoy that at this time you notice that like now he's not flying you already know you already know this, but uh, he's not flying with his own wings, he's just floating. You're gonna get lazy, Toki. He beaten those. He he, he raised the middle finger. He ring he raised the middle finger to you. <laughs> ah, very well. You you want it, not me. I like the idea of the small imp just latching onto a basketball sized ball of mashed potatoes and just sitting there eating it, just like oh. As it slowly <laughs> rotates, the entire ball is just sitting there eating while spinning. Grabbing his hand, shoving his whole hand into his mouth. Oh. He's Winnie the Pooh in it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like that one that episode of of uh, of, um, of King the Hill when like remember when uh, uh, when they went went to that in the, the Native American sweat lodge and Bill jumped to him di uh, diving naked on a motorcycle into a uh, into a pie. What? Remember the episode though when uh, um when it was the episode when they went to Japan and and uh, and and they went to John Redcorn's little sweat lodge thing, and they had the, that that little hallucination. Bill and he he and uh, saw himself naked for some reason on, on a bike and uh, go diving in uh, diving uh, uh, into a, a uh, giant blueberry pie. They went to Dale Dale. I know I know how I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay, I wasn't sure what you meant. All I heard was sweat lodge and then Bill drove a motorcycle naked into a pie. I'm like, what? That has to be a dream sequence, right? That, it, it, was, it was. A, it was a hallucination. It, it was a hallucination. And uh, gonna Dale on, on, uh, on uh, had a hallucination that he had sex with a praying mantis and his head got chopped off. Oh, I found it. <laughs> oh, what? The, the Bill thing? Yeah. Yeah, and I'm posted in Discord. There we go. Yeah, that one. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah, and like, so, and at that time, roughly about four, um, roughly about then, um, is is nearing five. You, you can tell that um, there's still light out, but it's it's uh, nearing sundown. Ahem, DM, I believe there's a matter of our experience point. Oh yeah, you gain, <laughs> yeah, you gain uh, 150. Okay, so that should be 1500 then, yes? Yes. Okay, we're already halfway there. Thousand. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Oh. That's that slight beavis and butthead animation to Bill's face. Yeah. Dale, I know how I'm gonna, uh, how I'm gonna I die. I remember Dale's, but I don't remember Bill's. It's so weird. <laughs> nobody remember. No, nobody's remember Bill. Not even Bill. Bill. What does that mean? Why do you keep calling me Bill? All right. It's beginning to get dark out. I think we should set up camp for now. Well, does anyone know how to start the fire? Start the fire. Um, uh, and then goes like, uh, if we're making we're making camp, um, we have food. Oh, you gonna share the mashed potatoes with us? I mean, if you guys want some, it's again not flavored. It's re 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 really bland. Put some Cajun salt on it. It's fine. And that's just dirt. Mm. And screw you for making me eat dirt. <laughs> Yeah, more or less. 
gonna start the fire because none of us has pressed the digitation. I have a tinder box. Oh, okay. And, and, and behind the floating, and behind the floating, um, oh, the floating, the, behind the, the floating potato ball, you see an uh, imp's tail on on like on on, 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 on catch on fire. Ah, uh, yes, he's on fire. He's on fire. Oh, I mean, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure he can do that because he is an, an, an uh, infernal being. Maybe. Uh, it says here that he has, he can sting, he can turn invisible, he can shape change, he has devil sight, and he has magic resistance. Okay, well, never, never mind then. Never mind then. Did you say he could sting or he can stink? Sting with okay. the tail. He has a, a tail with like a scorpion barb thing. Ah, he can sting. He can be. He can have face paint and be too old to wrestle, but also he wields <laughs> a baseball bat. I thought you were talking about the sting from uh, the police. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he can. Sing he can sting about him. not standing so close to him. <laughs> that and the one that's about stalking. Yeah. Oh, uh, we said that the two old wrestle. I mean, thought Ric Flair. All right, so um, um I, I, I guess you get. Uh, I guess you guys are uh, making camp. Yep. Yep. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. And uh, 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 is there, uh, no check needed though. It'll, it'll take you a, a bit of time. It, uh, by the time you actually make a fire, it starts getting dark. Mm -hmm. And. And of course, the imp's right there, like and, uh, he's like and, uh, piecing, and uh, taking, uh, taking, a, uh, taking apart this little giant ball of potato. And, and, uh, he, and uh, he already got it done. He's not, it's not like uh, bigger than a basketball, but he's like taking it piece by piece and like eating it. Mm -hmm. Ah, you guys want some? Mm, I'll take a little bit as I start floating. <laughs> you start floating for about uh, five seconds and then, and then, and then stop. Uh, I'm going to pull out a ration and start eating that. <laughs> it's like, Man, it's like some out. trail mix. Yeah. I'm also going to pull out... Oh, sorry. Go on. Oh, I was just going to pull out a ration as well. Oh, okay. I'm pulling out a small bag from my backpack. And just It's just dry seaweed. <laughs> just sitting there eating dry seaweed. Just... Protein ball. Oh, so by the way, guys, and um, jerky, yes. by the way, guys, officially in the game itself, each ration is a, a one day's worth. So how do I, how how do how, how do you want to normally deal though? Like, and, um, you want to have a right when we go out on long adventures? Do you want like a a, a ration in the morning or a ration at night? I probably do it at night. Probably do it at night, right? Night. All right, all right then. Yeah, so. Yeah, so and uh, then officially and uh, right off one ration when, when, when you're doing this. Yep. Uh, how many rations do we start out with with the adventures? I have ten. I yeah, I also had right? ten. Yeah. I think yeah. I think it's usually ten. Yeah, we, we don't right. buy more. Yet you guys have ten, so basically, you know, if you're away from an actual town or tavern, you can survive ten days. Mm. Well, quote unquote, survive. Because yeah. and, 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 and I think at that point, arguably, you start getting points of exhaustion if you don't eat. Oh, you're going to the fog? Oh, you get exhaustion. <laughs> like, uh, well, Ravenloft is, is, is designed to just kill you no matter what. It's better than Tomb of Annihilation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Better than Tomb, Tomb of, of the Boom. Tomb of Horrors? Someone wants to play Tomb of Horrors, level one? Tomb of Horrors? No. Oh. I heard nothing but bad stories about that. <laughs> yep, that is true. Alright, so anyway, and, um, you guys have a little nice fire. You guys are eating on uh, your respective rations. You guys want to talk before you start then, um, dozing off to bed? What do you think we're going to find in that cave? I, too, am also curious about what's going on inside that cave. Maybe more mashed potatoes. You think but the planet what? is down? Now Why? Uh, all the mashed potatoes. Why potatoes, though? They have some kind of magic property. This is from the Earth, but for some reason, there seems to be a little bit of gravity in it. Mmm. <laughs> That's above game. Mmm. I know. I know. Do they have that? The 
potatoes themselves must have some magic properties to them. And they seem to be releasing energy to power up these old things. There we go. God damn it. <laughs> well, I mentioned it, so... Uh, fair enough. Why gob... Why potatoes? Potatoes. <laughs> Pot potatoes. <sighs> I think it's safe to assume that uh, whoever is in the cave is going to be the one calling the shots. I'd... Should we have a... They must have some kind of commander. Should we have a plan of some sort? I always have a few tricks up my sleeve. I don't know about you two. As such as damaging yourself. That was by mistake. Not everyone can have a magical spear that comes back to you on a flick of a wrist. I don't have to flick my wrist. That just goes that one way over his head. He's just like, I don't have to flick my wrist. And then he just kind of drops his trident and then holds his hand up and it just woofs back and he's just like, no flick. Look at him, look at him, wrist. God damn it, fuck you. <laughs> Who's talking about sheet sharks? Stop talking about mm. sheep. <laughs> uh, Alright then. Um, Seems like our plans have already been working. Pretty just much, though, happen. we have been, uh, just, uh, doing it based on, uh, pure fighting alone. As long as the merfolk decides to take the front, we should be fine. Everyone hide behind him. I don't think the Goliath can fit behind me. Figurative. Of course. Also, should we, uh, heal oh. because of this, or is this a long, I'm assuming this is a long rest. I would rest. assume this is a long rest. Yep. This is going to be the long rest. Yeah, but, um, alright, so, uh, do you guys want to, like, um, start on, um, you guys about to uh, start taking your shifts on, on watch, um, who's going to take first shift? I'll take first watch. I'll take the second, then. And I'll take third. Alright, then. Here. Here comes a low wall, boy. Okay, he can stay up with you. I don't think he needs to sleep, does he? He... I mean, he's an infernal creature, so... I mean... It, it, uh, even demon, demons are not that tend to and not need sleep as well. Alright, then he'll sleep... the first shift away, I guess. Alright then. So... Bastinor, roll me um... Oh, wait. I should have changed the actual uh, music. Yes, we're not yeah. dating. We're not dating anymore. Woo. I see you there. All right, uh, roll me your perception check as you uh, with the campfire just on uh, look around. I was gonna say. I was gonna say as a joke. Can I use athletics to? <laughs> Because <laughs> I have a five in athletics. <laughs> you somersault so good that it starts to become bright, bright around you. You said perception? Yeah, perception. Oh boy, here comes minus one, boys. Oh, it would have been a 12. Okay, it's an 11. You see nothing. Just the, the the occasional rustle of like some crows and uh, some some uh, no, some wooden creature, creatures here or there. You know, there's like a an, um you know from your from your basic history of the of the Great War, a lot of these uh, uh, islands are uh, uninhabited. But um, it seems as though slowly but surely they're starting to become more popular with like fauna. You can't tell it, it, whether it's on a, by natural means. Or by um, by man by um, quote unquote man made means. 
you know, you, you know for sure that the woodland creature, the woodland critters like uh, you know the rats and rabbits, uh, might have been placed there by and uh, by uh, by uh, possibly the druid, the the druid guild from Sabatiel. While the birds, you can't tell because you know they can fly. Alright. And everybody wolf. <laughs> it's just teleporting wolf. It's a bl it's one of the blink wolves I've heard so much about. It's a, it's a blink dog, very wolf. Oh god. He ate the no. wolf he ate the the wolf wolf root. No. <laughs> it better not be a thing. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not putting dope fruits in, in, in my world. Okay. Mm. Alright, so you your your uh, now watch ends with no problem. Just um the normal, uh, the normal uh, on that night, uh, that 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 you're used to, you, and you wake up Julius uh, that for his uh, shift. It is your turn. Okay. I grab my hat and walk off into position. Should I give a perception check as well? And I'm, 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 are you also on on uh, waking up your little imp friend? I'll have him be on with uh, the third watch. <laughs> and you, you look over, you see that, and um, he's like, um, he, it's kind of funny though. It's like it's like a, a little totem pole, the totem pole of levitation. He and he set the the giant ball of uh, of a uh, potato on the floor. It's it's floating, so there's no um, cause or alarm for her to get get any dirt. And then he's he's slipping out on top of that, but he's also floating. Uh, uh, he's also he's also floating. See what we have around. They're all perception. You have to crawl across on uh, some torchlight, and you hear like, nah, nah, nah. but um, you can tell that uh, there's just like an um, wan wandering goblin, wandering goblin the score scouts, and um, they're going away from you, like um, far away. Afterwards, um, your uh, your watch on uh, on um ends uh, ends. So uh, you wake up at uh, Bill Green for uh, for his shift. My watch has ended, friend. So I take my hat off and lay back down. Do you wake up your imp as well? Yeah. I'll be like Toki. Yeah. Big guy. Yeah. 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 Oh, fine. <laughs> you see Toki up uh, for his wings, and uh, uh, it's really like. Uh, all right. All right, big guy. I'm gonna help you and um, look out. So, and Bell Green, roll me a perception with with advantage, as and uh, and he's gonna try to help you. Perception also has double sight like I do. We should have had him help me. That is. <laughs> and. Nothing. Never mind. It wouldn't have helped. It still would have been eleven. <laughs> you um, relatively quiet night. Uh, you do. Uh, no, he did warn you about the, those that little goblin sc scouting party, um, going away from you. And um, you, you did see a little flicker of a uh, torchlight from far distance. So you could tell they're going in the opposite direction, uh, of where you're currently camping. There are goblins near us. And with that, um. Morning, morning arise. Morning arises. Morning, uh, you wake up everyone to, to the day, and uh, of course above uh, above game if you haven't done it already, and uh, all your, all your spell slots come back, all your HP comes back. Cool. I don't have to do anything. Put on my coat, and I'm gonna pull out my Lumina necklace and raise it to the sun. As you look at as you look at your uh, your uh, your necklace of Lumine. You see, uh, now for the first time in a long while, it's actually glowing, blinking. Interesting. You you remember that the, that the, that the celestial told you that um, find the noteworthy people, and uh, if and if it glows, and uh, not talk to them. If it if it, if it blinks, meet them at all costs. Okay. What if the people is it is it uh, one of. Two in the party, or is it 
Oh no! I got when when the part when the party was when the party is forming and um and um at the uh, the guild, you you know it wasn't blinking. Okay. Uh, you you also never never checked once you got uh, got on the new island, so. That is true. For all you know, it could be and uh, for all you know, it, it could be either one the mer- the merchant ships, the people you met, maybe one of the, maybe maybe one of these goblins, or it could be uh, someone uh, someone still in, in in the floating tavern. Tuck it away. <clears throat> Everyone ready then. Head to the cave. You see, you see your imp- I see your uh, your imp friend is like an. Uh, he was about to go back to sleep until like. Eh. Your sleep's over, bud. I let you sleep two shifts. <laughs> he goes up and picks up the ball and like slowly folds up like. Yeah. He uses wings to flap up faster. Ah, that that's better. Oh. All right, everyone ready then? As ready as I'll ever be. Let us continue. All right then, to the caves. All right then, you, you go you go to the caves and you it, again equidistant, so roughly about fifteen to twenty minutes. You to trek up towards the center of the island. And as you do, and everyone roll me a uh, stealth check with advantage. Oh boy. I'm actually really good at stealth. I could not tell. Uh, don't worry, it'll, it'll be a, uh, not a group check. Oh, good. With that, though, that, uh, with, with the help of Julius and, and Zip, and, and uh, they immediately just pull you over to, towards the bushes and, and, and like, uh, cover you guys' mouths. Um, um, you, well, Julius, you pull over on, uh, on, uh, Black Bastinar, on, uh, Imp, uh, immediately, on, 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 um, on, uh, pu- tries to push on, on, uh, Bell Grieve over and, uh, cover, uses his wings to cover his mouth, and you see uh, a bunch of goblins heading in different directions, and you see one, you see, uh, on, uh, one group uh, is going towards, on, on, uh, where he just came from, and three other groups going in, 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 uh, in uh, Cardinal Rushes, uh, on, uh, uh, equidistant of the, of the cave itself. He, he, and you see this one, this one uh, not goblin in particular has looks to be um, more heavily armored. Has a a a a, 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 um, a more a, a more on a more polished sword. A, 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 a couple of javelins on his back, and also a um, yeah, yeah, just a couple of javelins on his back, though, ordering, uh, ordering people around. Then he just and, um, flies up very fast, very high, looks around, and it just dives down back into the cave. Must be the leader. Where to face the general? What is the plan? Well, in my youth, I was very good at stealthing around. Uh, we could also send my fine uh, Toki boy here in and scout with his invisibility. Please, no. Alternatively, we could just run in and uh, start blasting. <laughs> start blasting. Hope for the best. What do you think, Murfolk? <clears throat> I would prefer that we I would prefer that we scout things out before we make any rash decisions. Alright, Toki. Go invisible, leave the potatoes. <laughs> scout ahead for me. Alright, alright. Well someone that needs to hold this. Not a volunteer at once. I'll hold it. Yeah, you hold it though, and like it's basically not the the it's basically not the as it's basically not bigger bigger than a basketball now. It's like, it's like a, it's just like very proportionate in front of you. And you see him go invisible and just fly in. You you can see through him. Yeah, I'm gonna see through his eyes. Then we'll move on to the map. You. This is what you basically see. 
you on, on um Are those potatoes? Yes. But uh, you you don't see this. Um uh, hold on, I'll, I'll put in I'll put in the amp. You can see it. I'll put oh, in I was talking out of the game, man. I just wanna know. Those potatoes, those are tates. Yep. The whole room is one giant potato. Alright, so basically and uh, here's it what is. here's here's what you mean because you see. The master tato. You go inside and I see that the amp on uh, just flying around. Uh, hold on. I'll, I'll give I'll, I'll give him a little invisibility sign that's a book. <laughs> Fly around. He, he flies up across on uh, this on uh, this this table full of like um an alchemic on uh, tools, some notes, and books. A big pile of potatoes. Flies over. You see a goblin, right? Uh, two goblin guards. That leader, who's who's like on uh, feverishly and like angrily just flying around the the cave, just like bucket corners. Then he looks over to this thing. It's a little too bright to see, but uh, it looks like he's some sort of potato on this fancy plinth and at the very back. It, but uh, he can uh, your imp can't very tell much because it's the is the potato itself is is glowing. Like a potato cult. And he just goes and flies back and <laughs> and he snaps out of it and uh, he basically and and um and uh, lands on your shoulder. Ah, 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 good thing those goblins are stupid. about the giant glowing potato on a plinth, uh, the table, the three goblins that were there. The peanut, the Patrick. The peanut, the Patrick. <laughs> All right. What do we do? Uh, is Did the he... cave? Uh, open, like, is uh, anyone around the cave? Nope, it, it, he and uh, he's um again. This leader is stupid, but uh, uh, so he's he's he only has two guards with him and in, uh, in the cave itself. While well, he sent the rest of his part, uh, the rest of his band uh, to check the, the other four plants. I think we can take them. Indeed. Strike while the iron is hot. Indeed. All right, I think we're ready to go into the cave then. Do we want to do this stealthily slightly in the first part? How, how, well, it looked like there was torches there. Yep. It's fully lit, and, 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 and the guards are looking at, at the only the, the only uh, 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 entrance. Alright. Mm, okay. Alright, yeah. So, we go. I guess we're going in. Alright, just give me one on it. I forgot to, I forgot to add one more thing. Uh, okay. He's gotta add something in, something we weren't allowed to see. <laughs> Alright, you go in, you're okay, you basically go inside, uh, go, go, go to the entrance door and I, like, and, hold on, I'll, oh yeah, I'll, I'll put, I haven't put your tokens in. Um, uh, there's you, Bast, and, uh, do you want to see, and, uh, for, uh, um, Sushi and Roy, do you want the same tokens? Whoops. My bad. Um, token layer. Token layer. Okay. And who had the bender one? Was it you, Sushi, or you, Roy? Wait, what happened? I, I had that one. That's all. Yeah. I had right. this one right in the middle there. Okay. Controlled by. Save settings. Oops. No. Stop it. Oh, yeah. Small to earth. Not there. <laughs> small, smold earth? Yeah. 
Yes. Smell uh, Earth. There. Uh, and I'll also give you give control. I'll also give give you control of the imp. There we go. He's still invisible, by the way. As you enter, and you see on uh, this um this goblin, the, the one flying, he talks to you and talks to you and like, so you're the one who's been killing my men. So you can actually speak common. Yeah, yeah. These my, my, my men are actually kind of stupid, though. Like I'm the only one who can speak common out of all of them. That's also why why I'm also the leader. So. They weren't necessarily the most kind to us. Why don't you let us know what you're doing here? Well, well, it's simple. We found this. We found this little a secret artifact, and uh, we we partook partook of some of its flesh, and we're able to fly now. Yeah, the potatoes, yes. And that's what they're called. What is your end goal? Oh, I mean, I mean, look around you. Islands to the sea, uh, islands under the sea, islands to the sky. There's no longer on a big contest for us to roam around. So, and, and we had to like I don't know like, like what, pay people, like who, who like seriously who who can we who can we even fleece or rob in this little small island? So your tactics are that of uh, danger to other civilians, then yes. Yeah? And sheep, according to them. <laughs> just give a stare over real quick, and then go back. Why don't you stop right now, and just simply live a normal life, a normal existence. Relatively normal, that is. What are you gonna do? I can fly, you can't. <laughs> there are many things you don't know that I can do. I just imagine Roy's character tipping his hat when he said that. <laughs> so we're gonna lay down your arms, evacuate the cave, and go back to a forest. Or anywhere else besides here. Yes, remove your arms from their shoulders and leave. If you do not con I will melt you like I did your brethren. Um. Julius, roll me a, a precision check with disadvantage because uh, now he's also seeing your imp holding the giant potato ball. Imp, okay, roll me intimidation. Intimidate? Wait, I'm rolling pers uh, persuasion? With dis dis disadvantage, though, because uh, now your imp has a potato ball. It's on the varying spectrum here. <laughs> Heaven or hell, duel. Let's rock. <laughs> uh, Bill Grieve, roll me intimidation. I did. did he I? did. Yeah, but, uh, eight. Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> what are you take me for a fool? I mean, have you seen where do you live? I mean, have you seen your army? Supposedly, you live in a cave. Not very smart. You worship potatoes. We don't worship potatoes, you idiot. It gives us power to uh, uh, to, get, to go and grow. Soon we'll take over the seas, then the islands, then the very sky palace itself. Sounds like a cult to me. Enough That's of... hard to do if you're six feet underground, my friend. Enough of this. Attack them. Roll initiative. Ah, uh, we should have just ran in. I should have just been like, enough talk. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, my imp. The imp is not lazy today. God damn it! Why am I always rolling so low with initiative? So we're, oh. we're healed up and stuff, right? Because we didn't... Yeah, we're all yep. healed up. Okay. We're swag kage over here. Ooh, Julius with a nat 20. Yeah, well, that's my imp. He's really hard in the paint for the Wait, wh where's yours then? Mine is a 10. Oh, Jesus. Oh, is yours. <laughs> His is above yours on mine, so I don't oh, know. Really? It says you wanted to send 
the result of this. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, so six. Uh, Bastinara, eight. Alright, so first Gobbo. Wow. Second Gobbo. And now the boss. I guess the, the Grand Line review. Alright then. It's the imp's turn. <laughs> what do you want him to do? Besides hold that giant potato ball. He's gonna put down the potato ball behind us. Uh, let's see. Where can he move? Oh wow, he can actually get pretty far. I'm gonna tell him to go and take the help action over here on this guy. Um, oh yeah. Over there. Yeah, he's about that 10 feet up though. And uh, so, and he's like, so distracting him. Like, stop it, stop it. And now the red, the red guy's turn, so, let's see. It's off the jail for you, Mr. Krabs. He's got to hang, he's got to kind of hang back right here. He's got to go and, um, he's got to go and, uh, and uh, take a pot shot at you on the buggy with his little short bow. Alright. And... That'll be, uh, that'll be an 18 to hit. That hits. Uh, and then the so, you take... Oh wow, max damage. Uh, 8, eight, point, eight piercing damage. Okay. As it just lands in the, between the folds of your uh, wooden armor and just, again, hits you in that same, the same, uh, uh, on a shoulder spot that uh, the one, the one goblin did. Oh, okay. Now the boss's turn. He is annoyed by your imp. He's gotta attack your imp. Alright. With a multi attack! Oh my. Alright then, so first hit with the scimitar. That's six. That misses. Second hit. That's a, another six. That misses. <laughs> and then one. What the? Let's see. Two attacks with the scimitar. The second attack. Oh, second attack has to hit the disadvantage. Oh, regardless. <laughs> and that'll be it. That does it. That's his miss attack. Like, like, start flying. Get out of here. Julius, it's your turn now. All right, I'm gonna use my bonus action and cast hex on uh, the boss. Uh huh. And I'm gonna hex his uh, constitution, so he gets disadvantage on constitution saves. <laughs> oh. I'll give I'll, I'll give Dustin a little scroll. Okay. And then as my main attack, I'm going to use my cantrip Eldritch Blast, of course. Uh... Who are you hitting? I'm hitting the boss. Oh, the boss? All right, yeah, then? Yeah, the same one that I hexed. All right, and you have advantage? Yeah, and I have to add a plus. Let me roll a d6 as well, because I do an extra d6 necrotic. Well, uh, because of your hex? Yeah, because of hex. So I do ten damage then. Like as as he's like on um on a being as your imp starts attacking him, and like he all of a sudden the imp like flies away from it. Like, wait what? <laughs> and he hits him right on uh, right in in the in, in the chest. Ah! And you see these these and um these and uh, this these white tendrils and 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 uh, seems like an uh, eke out and then slowly turn from, turn from white to gray then black as it just starts on a little rotting a little bit on his chest. Ah! 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 Alright then. Uh, do I move or you want to stay there? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move over here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna stay there, actually. I'm not actually at a good spot where I can... Alright. Hold on, let me just... Closer. Uh... Okay, Alright then, um, my Bast, it's your turn. Okay, I'm gonna look to Julius. I'm gonna go, Julius. Yes? Does your imp die? He can, but I can re-summon him. 
Would you be upset if he died? I can always resummon him. It only takes an hour to summon him again. Wait, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to... Toki, but you can come back. I'm going to use the dash action to uh, sprint in. I, I grabbed the wrong thing. Uh, there we go. And then I'm going to pop action surge. Mm -hmm. And then I am going to use that action to cast thunder wave. So they have to make a con save a, with a difficulty of 14. Or they take, let's see, 2d8 thunder damage and they're pushed 10 feet away. Uh, okay. Oh, you haven't done that, the, the, the Thunder Wave thing yet? No, I have not. What, 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 what's your DC? 14? 14. Okay, so I had to roll a D20 with that, plus his one okay. constitution modifier. He's gonna... Did I... Okay, hang on, I think I did that wrong. Slash... Roll... D20. Okay, he just... Chucks the trident oh, into the ground and plus one that's 19. Runs up, just kind of holding his hand over the orb. Before, uh, is that 2d, 2d6 or 1d6? For what the damage? Yeah, it's 2d8 thunder damage, and they're pushed 10 feet away. Uh, so, what's... my guy made a uh, 18, well, 19 because he gets a plus one to his con. All right, so, um. So, so what's, your, what, what's your DV, uh, what's your on uh, on uh, DC? Fourteen. All right. So first, Gabo. Uh, he just met. He just met by fourteen, so he's good. Right, and so now he's half damage and isn't pushed. And uh, now the boss. Oh, the boss fails. <laughs> All right. So roll, roll your d8s. Two of us are only taking one, right? Yeah. So, three? So, yeah, so the, the red goblin gets uh, three damage. The imp gets three God. damage. And, and also, and, uh, the boss takes the full seven. And then... And he's, he, he gets moved what? Moved back ten feet, I think? Yeah, he gets pushed ten feet. I swear, that's his favorite thing. What? The, the damage plus pushback, because that's what your big bad in the uh, one shot. The oh, one, yeah, the yeah, quote yeah, unquote yeah. one shot. <laughs> and um, um, is your imp still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. It only took three damage. All right. <laughs> and you see, and you see that the gob the goblin though he's now he's now on the ground. He got, he got pushed down on uh, and uh, um uh he got he got pushed down pushed down to the ground when he was flying. Prone. Oh, okay. I thought he was prone. Okay. No, 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 no. He's just not, not no longer flying flying at the moment. And then with the rest of my movement from the dash action, I'm gonna move over here. And then as my bonus action, I'm gonna call my trident because I left it where they were at. I just kind of chucked it into the ground, so I had a free hand. All right. To cast. <laughs> no, Grieve, it's your turn now. You see, uh, on um, uh, the the red gobble over there, like, oh, he's he's looking relatively winded. The boss is heavily winded, and the blue one is like, uh, like, what's going on? What? Huh? Uh, I'm going to use wild shapes. Oh. The first time he's used it. And I'm going to turn to a dire wolf. Nice. So I have a armor class of 14. I have 37 hit points. I have a speed of 50. Um, I can actually post the link right here. This is the one for DD or roll 20. I'll post it in general. Genital. Genitals? Genitals. Because apparently it's challenger eating one uh, yeah. monster. Okay, so you get a plus three, plus two, plus two. Yeah, I was just figuring out how to uh, make a thing for its bite in my damage thing. Oh shit, you get pack tactics, that's right. Mm -hmm. You can either 
do advanced like the advanced uh, dice roll thing yeah how do I do that uh, you go up to the, the the dice option on the uh, the top left hand side it's the one that literally looks oh, like a okay. D20. and then there's advanced dice roll and you click on that and you can select uh, how many of them you roll what type of dice and then you just do plus three Wild shapes into dire wolf, and I guess I will. So, which ones were hit? It was the boss and the red one. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the blue one's like unscathed, though, but he's like confused, like going, "What's going? What's going on?" Well, then I'm going to move up to the blue one. And I'm going to use a bite on him. Oh, okay. The okay. no, as dire wolf, though, you have you have forty movement. I have fifty movement. Oh, okay. And roll ahead. D twenty plus five. Jesus. Yeah. He, he, and a uh, dire is, is only a child for you. It's a that one. <laughs> so it's a six. So, wait, so the dire wolf is child for you one. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll severity. Roll for severus. Severus. Oh shit! Why am I at sixty nine? <laughs> I was at sixty nine magnification. Oh. Uh, uh, so yeah. I'm gonna be probably turning into a dire wolf a lot. I'm gonna make a separate action for that. Um, I'll give you a little token. Um, there, you're a dire wolf now. <laughs> Count Toki explosion. Count Toki explosion. Oh, my temporary hit points is 37. Boy, I'm sure I'm glad everybody and their fucking grandmothers. You um, at at night. you pounce on him to try and bite him, and then the key just uh, now goes. Um, I rolled nineteen by the way out of a hundred. So he you he, he you go and and you go and slap um, he you go and try and bite him, but he slaps you and he you do a little flip of it, and now you're prone on the ground. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, you're fucked. And there. And did, did, did you use uh, uh, uh yeah you use your movement though so you until your next turn you're you're prone. Right. Sega. Sega. And now the blue one's turn. And now the blue one's oh, turn. I didn't mean to roll that. Hold on. All right. I was trying to edit that. And, and now the blue one's turn. Uh, just so you know, on um, you know, you remember you can't use your own stats. Yeah. No, I know that. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna change. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, so and, and so now the blue one's turn. He goes to you, and uh, since you're currently prone, uh, now move to crawl unless it stands and uh, 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 attacks against the creature has advantage. So he will attack you with advantage with his little scimitar. With advantage, that is an 18. Uh, 17. 17. Prepare to die! <laughs> On my, well, even if he loses all his hit points, I think he just turns back into his normal Yeah. Oh, so what's the AC on your direwolf? 14. Oh, yeah, that definitely hits. You take... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You take uh, seven points of uh, slashing damage. All right, so I'm down to thirty. Up the turn order. The imp's the, uh, the imp's turn. Like, <laughs> what the fuck was that? He would be pissed off at him for yeah. using electrical. No, 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 no. He no, 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 he he didn't use use electrical. He uses sound. Thunder, oh, sound. Th th thunder is sound. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Okay. I feel like, Toki, just ignore it. You'll get revenge on him later. Go ahead and 
and then he's gonna go and take the uh, position on the boss again. I was yeah. performing what I've been told is a pro player move. <laughs> again, he was he was trying to distract the boss, like, and the boss is like weakened, like, go away, go away. And now uh, the red the red guy's turn, like, eh, 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 eh. he'll put away his bow and charges at you, uh, charges at you on uh, um, on uh, blast, and. <laughs> blast. Hero in Saitama, blast. And let's see. I'm pretty sure um, a 12 doesn't hit you. Nope. Yeah, so he goes in over and like, click, enter your shield. Hail. The boss again, like a. Like a <laughs> A a angrily, he would go up to him and try to attack him again with his uh, multi attack. <laughs> and he gets a disadvantage on the second one. So the first one. Oh, that's fucked. Bullocks, I say. That's a 21 to hit. <laughs> oh, that's a hit. That's a big hit. That's a big oof. And he takes ooh, seven points of uh, slash damage. All right, he's down. <laughs> he had seven health left. So is he poofed? I think that's a poof. And with that, pff, that also means that the his whole body is no longer there. Yeah. <laughs> and like. He's it looks like he's too injured that he didn't even try and fly, so he'll just stay right there and try to clutch his wound. Julius, it's your turn now. He just went make he just made your imp go poof. Fucking Toki! Uh, I'll just use Alfred's blast on him again. On the boss. <laughs> does uh, does he still have um uh um uh, hex? Yeah, he still has hex. Alright. And or anything. And with that though, yeah, so he goes out to you like, like he, 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 you see him, you see him, uh, unlike the other goblins though, who just uses an, 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 an just like, like an uh, self learned ferocity and uh, and for combat, he, you see him and actually dig his, like actual, like a soldier, like an actual soldier, he, you see, you see him actually dig his uh, feet to the ground, take up the stance, and, and, and actually, and, and, and just full on, on uh, tank your entire shot using a shield. Anything you want to do for your bonus action? Uh, nope. Uh, well, no, because he's okay. Never mind, no. Anything you want to do as your bonus action? Yeah, have a bonus action. Uh, Bast, uh, 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 uh Bast. I have very limited options on my bonus action. <laughs> from, from, your, from, from your peripheral, you see the imp go poof on the, from the boss, and you see this uh, goblin on the, who charged at you. Julius, my apologies for weakening your imp, and then I'm just gonna fucking attack it with my trident. Uh, this is a goblin? Yeah, the goblin. Alright, go ahead and roll the hit. Come on. Damn it! You go and uh, he just blocks, he just uh, parries, it, parries it with his, uh, with, with, with his uh, scimitar. Yet another worthy opponent. Now if only I could, I don't know, uh, Reload a page so that it didn't give me shit rolls. Perhaps that'll help. <laughs> Anything you want to do for your bonus action? Uh, no, I'm good. Oh, good. I literally have two bonus actions. Call my weapon back, and I think second wind was a bonus action. Uh, Bill Grieve, is your is your turn now? All right. Uh, so I, how do I get a pro? Uh, you use half your movement. Just half. Oh, okay, I'll use half my movement. Okay, you're no longer a pro. And then I'm going to bite him again. All right then. And I, and I want to see if this works. All right. Um. Hmm. D D twenty. CS. Yeah, so, so it's a D twenty plus five. Okay. So T plus five. Okay. Yeah. And that. Target is a creature and must succeed a D thir a DC thirteen strength saving throw or be knocked prone. Okay, and I uh, roll uh, damage while I I um, roll his uh, DC uh, DC check. All right. <laughs> Negative one strength. Oh my god. <laughs> Goblins. He rolled that one. <laughs> it's 
so not only is he prone, he's daggering on, on, on uh, in your teeth. So because of, because of that on uh, the half movement will not will not actually cure him though he's like literally stuck in your teeth now as like and, uh, he's just dangling for his, for his dear life. All right, well I guess that's the end of my turn. <laughs> Blue guy's turn. He's got he's make a strength check and I and and to try and, and wiggle out of your teeth. Um, um opposing athletics check. Um, Wait, the strength is three. Hold on. Uh, what, what's the what's the wolves on on um uh, strength modifier? Uh, plus three. Oh yeah, that that just roll a d twenty plus three. Oh, uh, and he has to roll d twenty minus one. Okay. Hold on. Just just let you know on on um that DC check he rolled that one. So uh, nineteen. <sighs> He rolled a natural 18, minus one at 17, so he nope, he's stuck in your teeth. <laughs> and that'll be it for him. Oh yeah, the imp's gone. Yeah. Uh, next round, Red's turn. Um, he will uh, once again try and scimitar you to death on uh, Bast. Okay. Yeah, with a 10, that, that won't do anything. Again, just cleans off your shield. Fight, 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 fight. And you see uh, that this, uh, the boss just slowly limps towards you, uh, lim limps towards you, on your other side. Ooh, he's sandwiched. And with a multi attack with his with his sim uh, with his scimitar, the first hit. Uh, there's a sixteen hit. Yes. All right then. You take uh, five points of slashing damage. Okay. And now for the second hit, second second hit with his obvious multi attack, he gets, he gets a disadvantage. That's probably it. Yeah, that's oh, that's even lower. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that, that's that's um, a, a six. So that 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 definitely misses. Yes. And like. <sighs> he slash, slashes into you and and does it again, but the, the pain the pain's actually and uh, hurting uh, and more and and just get all the loose and just misses. <sighs> Julius, it's your turn. All right, let's try this again. I was about to shut down my computer by accident. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good work. Had to hit Firefox to bring up the other window with my thing, and I accidentally hit the button to bring up my Windows thing. All right, there we go. Eldritch Blast! Oh, that definitely oh. hits. Roll damage. Damage, and then plus... Uh... Just gotta roll a D6. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... If but above game real quick before before you say anything. I just... I would just immediately just above game, just... All I saw was... Julius! Hell! <laughs> they on Belgrave's ass! <laughs> Loki sleep. Um. So, Julius, how do you want to do this? How do I kill? Him? Oh. Fuck yeah! Get you uh -oh. some boy. I'm just gonna pull it out with all my power and go. This one is for Toki, and I blast it through the arcane focus right at him. Right in the head, fuck it. And as you do, you just make a little pose. You basically blast this hyper focused Eldritch, Eldritch blast. You, you know, you, you would have thought that from the reflection of your of your of your little one uh, arcane focus, you, you saw the reflection of the same celestial who saved you. As you do this, uh, this uh, and this and um, a final flash and and a type blast through through the focus and through his torso, leaving a big hole in his. You. And just flops to the ground. Uh, there, no. Uh, dead. Fucking dead. And then, let me see. One second. Aha! Okay. So I can actually reapply hex. <laughs> As a bonus action? Yes, as a bonus action. If they die, I can reapply it as a bonus action. Oh shit! It's like it's like Hunter's Mark. Yeah. 
So I'm gonna reapply it onto the one that uh, 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 Bass Bass Denar is fighting. With uh, I'm gonna mm, yeah, why not? Oh no, 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 no. On the one that Bow Brief is fighting, I'm gonna do it again. Yeah, the one that's currently taking off, off, off his on uh, his uh, his teeth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and... It's gonna be Constitution again. <laughs> okay. All right then. So, uh, I guess that'll be it for you. Yeah. Uh, Bastinar. Uh, 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 now your turn now. Uh, I'm gonna have a glorious fight with this bastard. I'm gonna attack him with my uh, peek over my shield and jab at him with my trident again. <laughs> okay. Oh, Yes! Alright, that hits. Uh, now roll damage. Biaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
Why potatoes? I don't. <laughs> I don't, I don't really understand either. <laughs> Holy potatoes, man. I'm gonna take the baked potato. Do you know? Oh, that doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good, but sure. I choose to move back. <laughs> Go on, you can do it. <laughs> just a shield up, just behind a shield. You've got this. And then I look over at Belgrieve. I'm lying. I don't think he's got this. So you take the potato, right? Yeah, I'm going to take the potato. All right, so hold on. Let me just um, uh, I let me just delete this, and you can have this. There you go. And you, and yeah, it's it, it's potato. I guess you put it in your pocket or just hold it. Put it in my backpack, I guess. Yeah, it, it, it's literally just, just a potato. It's not as big, as massive as a potato ball. And with that, Bel uh, Nobel Grieve and um. Belgrieve and, uh, uh, and Julius, make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, fuck oh, me. Okay. Well, since I am my cool. worst saving, one of my worst no, saving No, it's only those two. You, you walk back. Plus two, okay. Wait, what? Um, Bel um, Belgrieve and Julius. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought I'm safe. Good. Oh, me, okay. Uh, Mine is a ten. You you hear in the back like wait don't don't do that like like you hear a, go a, a, a an audible goblin voice like, and you hear like wait no don't do that shit like um uh um uh, like dear pre prepare like preparing now as you see this duo yes yeah. <laughs> In the background, you see this not uh, audible on uh, this goblin wearing a backpack full of alchemy supplies. Next to him is this very very busty uh, el an, an, an elf chick, but but the, her hand just clicks open. You see on uh, this little on um this little on on um this little tool that that comes out, and out of nowhere on um oh, by the way um oh yeah uh, the. Um, the potato's gone. Now it's in your pocket. You were able to actually you know, leave aside, but except for you, um, um, except for you, um, uh, Bill Grieve, you were actually snatched up as this reaping, this this oozing maw of black acre just goes up, seems to be alive, slashes onto your paw. Shit, 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 shit! Everyone roll me initiative. Jeez. What is that? Oh, yeah, I can't believe it. We're, we're the fucking grunge, you guys! Grunge! Grunge? Uh, uh, drunge. That's the name drunge. of the goblin. If, I, if that is who this is. It's drunge. Drunge, there we go, not grunge. Why?! What is wrong with my initiative? Every time I roll for uh, did I take Wait, did I take any damage from that? Uh, not that one. Huh? Okay. Did I take any damage? Oh no, you you just actually on uh, um wrapped up by this uh, this little on uh, oozing tentacle. Okay. There we go. Well, good thing I didn't uh, I didn't change uh, that. Um, forgive me, I don't have Drunge's stats with me. It's, it's in the other game. Oh god. So, like, uh, um, uh, I'm gonna make it up as I go, and, um, uh, so officially, uh, 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 he'll try and help you as, as I can with buffs. So, um, same with uh, his, uh, his homunculus. So, anyway, and, uh, so, but I still will roll initiative for him. Um, oh, by the way, um, before. Uh, add 300 experience points. Add what? 300. 300, 300, 300. Oh yeah, nice crisp 1800. You almost there, boys. All right, I'm so... so close to getting. What was it that I was gonna take? Where's my? Last is five. Bell Grieve is uh, 19. Julius, 
It's 22. You don't have your imp with you anymore. Push that to a fucking thing. Um, let's see. Drunge. That's some fucking dank music. What the fuck? Yeah. It's by Kevin McLeod. I'm gonna say for Drunge, and he'll have a little surprise round. As um, he'll and um, actually and um, both of them will go up up, up to their maximum um, movement. And oh he'll, shit, I forgot. The, sorry. He'll come up and he'll go and uh, lob on this this um, um iridescent iridescent and uh, little potion at you, and you you see it and uh, just a uh, form uh, form this little silvery sparkle around your leg, and you see uh, 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 um uh, bell grieve as you see it will starting to burn a little bit, and you see this little tentacles start trying to creep up on uh, on uh, uh, of you that looks like it's trying to control you, but as you, as the liquid hits the, uh, on uh, your leg, all you hear. Like, <laughs> As it lets go, and you see that the, the little smart smart tentacles start to burn away. Like, ha, ah, good, 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 good. And with his last 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 bit, though, along with the aid of his and uh, his um his and uh, bust very busty oven and uh, oven friend, and um and um, uh, latches onto like a little sprayer on a uh, uh, little little attachment onto an um. The, the goblin's hands start spraying all of you. You're now covered in this uh, iridescent silver on uh, uh iridescent silver silver aura. Oh okay. Like, huh, huh, huh. good. We, we made it just in time. Jesus, this music, man, it's crazy. Um, I'll give him the I'll give him the Galal token. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, oh, fast. That is... Six. Belfast, eat ass. Oh, it's in captured videos. Well, fuck me. Alright, I'll have to do that then. See if I see. Right. Okay. And with that, Kevin McLeod, man, he makes good music, and it's all royalty free for D and stuff. Oh. All right, and so anyway, and um, Julius, it's, it's your turn as an uh, um actor on uh, uh, this very very on 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 um articulate spoken goblin and uh, 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 goes up and spray and sprays all of you with uh, this iridescent silver liquid and give 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 yourself a, a nice uh, silver aura uh throws a stop and and, and uh, helps you actually what, what do you do did, what the hell is this i'm gonna say it to the goblin like, i'll explain later just kill it like holy energy or fire i'm gonna back up here is that the only thing that can kill her? Or is it the only thing that can hurt it? Um, that, that's all. That's all you could you could say on a, on a for a free action. All right, I'm gonna try hitting it with Eldritch Blast. Come on, bro. 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 And I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll severity. I'm gonna roll severity. Yes. I will have to go. I know. Uh, that would be 50 so yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, you just miss. And it's like, pew! And it just, and, 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 and uh, just pings, uh, pings through. Will that be it for you? Yeah, that's it for me. Bill Grieve, it's your turn. As you're, you're, you're now free of, of, of this, of, of this little, and, 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 uh, tentacle. You're in Bill Grievous danger. Uh... That's not good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Take a swing. You bite into it though by like biting like and some sort of jelly like creature. So you do you, you you do go in, but it just slides out of your mouth and, and go back into its, its main uh, into his main body. I 
my movement action, right? Yeah. Alright, I'll allow that. Yeah, okay. And so this little ooze is turn. You see on uh, get on uh, this little tentacle arm. Just like um Um let me just freehand draw that shit. And like it stretches right there. And that'll be it that we get enough from it. Um, Grudge's turn. Like, shit, 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 shit. Like, go over there. Like, oh, oh. No, you don't. And he'll go, go and lo uh, lob on uh, a, a, um, a little Molotov cocktail at it. Ooh. And it swings wide and uh, it lands right here. And apparently it was not volatile enough as an, an, it didn't catch fire. Actually, it's uh, closer, and especially it's it's actually empty. Oh wait, that's the one I drank. <laughs> you he drank a fire potion, uh, alchemist fire. Uh, it was pure, pure alcohol, actually. It's not uh, alchemist fire. It was a Molotov cocktail. Oh, Molotov cocktail. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, fuck. Like, like, whoops. And now for the, and now for the homunculus turn. He'll go over to you on um uh, uh Bell Grieve. You get healed five damage. Okay. Bass, it's your turn. Hmm. Firebolt, firebolt, firebolt. Well yeah, there's that. I just gotta figure out what my range is on it. 120 feet. Okay. That definitely constitutes as 120 feet, so... Alrighty then, I am going to... Stab my trident into the ground. And then from my pearl, yet again, I draw forth the... Heated energy, and I'm gonna... Chuck a firebolt at it. I like that firebolt is top of the list of <laughs> damages that I can do. <laughs> I get like all my attacks. There's like fire bolts, and then it's like above. Ooh, okay. All right, that hits. That's some big boy number. That one, not so much, but still. You see it as an, it hits the, the center mass. You just hear, <laughs> and you see it, and it, it it does more damage than you thought. A gift from the equator. All right, will that be it for you? Yep. Julius, it's your turn. Nine. You see this uh, the long tender arm uh, now slowly going towards these this goblin corpse. All right, that can't be good. Uh, I'm gonna try Eldritch blasting it again. All right. Because when a problem comes along, you must Eldritch blast. And again, it, and it goes a little wide, and and, and just like I tried to aim for the tentacle. I was just trying to hit, hit it itself. Yeah, it, it goes a little wide and it just hits at the, 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 the cave the cave wall. Ah, damn it! Mm. Gotta get my hood on the game here. <laughs> Bill Greaves, your turn now. And yeah, you also see this tentacle slowly going towards this corpse. Um, I'll bite the tentacle. Alright, roll the hit. I'm gonna roll on uh, severity. Uh, not so much. And uh, you go and and uh, bite onto it though. But um, it seems to just sl slither out of your mouth and and, uh, and continue on uh, on uh, going towards it. <laughs> so on, uh, you're biting it, but you you're doing nothing, basically. Oh, okay. By so, the way, I would have yeah. And with it though, he it's on um he continue, he continues on his assault by landing more there and that'll be it for for him. Uh, okay. Like oh no you don't and he he'll go and pull and uh, uh, see Drudge Drudge pulls a uh, pull a uh, short sword and just goes and cut, uh, cuts into this uh, tentacle. 
And you see, you see his short sword click from it, and it starts to be to being covered in fire. Ah. Oh that just no! That That's... made me think of the uh, the thing from Game of Thrones where they cut their where they put the sword across their palm of their hand and their blood lights it on fire. What's it with the dice rolls against you guys now? He he rolled a nat one. Oh, lovely. I'm going to roll severity. This music is apt. Dun, 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 dun. He tries to cut the tentacle, but then he loses grip on it, and uh, the sword is now currently... Hold on, just let me paint. Draw shape. Yeah, it's currently... Here. Like, ah, shit! And... And uh, 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 as a little move, I mentioned, he just lets out a little smoke cigarette. It's gonna be a day. He'll go over to an. Um, he'll go over to the. And, and, and so now the uh, the homunculus turn. She'll go over to an, an uh, to the master and give, give him the help action. And now, best is your turn. All right. Um. Let's see. So that's like 20 feet. Um, I'm going to look to my compatriots and go, Get the bodies away from the mass! It's trying to go for them, and then I'm going to try and just... How does throwing a dead body work? <laughs> uh, let... Um, are you trying to yeet it, or are you trying to, on, on, uh, to Kobe it? I'm trying to chuck it as just as far away as I can get it from the mass. He's more for power, not his precision. So yeet. So uh, no, roll me and uh, um and athletics. I'm about to try and shack this shit. <laughs> this is all about power, not precision. <laughs> Come on, damn it! You and... pick it up and like, eh. I didn't say it was a good plan. <laughs> just that it was a plan. And you, Anybody who doesn't have fire, get to work moving the bodies. See Drunge and they go, uh, 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 no, 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 that's a good idea, wait. And, and, that'll be it for you, Bast? Yes. Julius, it's your turn. This, I'm going to use, uh, Sacred Flame. Oh. That works. You have advantage. Well, that does do, radiant damage works on it, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, just just let so you know, you have advantage. Yeah, yeah, it was just using your secret flame. You have advantage. Yeah, I think I made the card wrong because it's supposed to be just a dexterity saving throw from the ooze. Oh no, then uh, for second, uh, for, for for my game, for uh, this particular enemy, secret flame, and uh, he immediately fail no matter what. Wait, immediately fails? This particular enemy, yes. Okay. Uh, and, uh, and uh, Edward, Edward would know why. Yes, kind of. I mean, I have an inkling. I don't remember because my character literally just either throws uh, send bond needles at this things or cut that with a silver knife. Yeah. So, so what? Well, well, so what? Uh, well, without going into detail, he and uh, and um, he fails the DC check, and uh, you have advantage on uh, if using on uh, if using a radi radiant energy on this with on this thing. But it doesn't do anything. Sacred Flame doesn't. What, what do you mean? What? No, he's saying that it, that you cast it and this thing automatically fails the DC. Oh, I thought he was saying I automatically failed. No, 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 no. Hit it automatically fails. I was like, wait, what? So what's the okay, damage? Empty box. Uh, it's not rolling anything. Okay, I guess we'll just roll empty, here. Empty box. Two. It's one d eight. Fix this. Ball. Yeah, it's one d eight. I'm gonna have to fix it on my character sheet here. You see, it actually takes an um a lot more damage than, than you thought. You, you thought it would take like a little trickle, but no, it it, it took a, 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 a whole deluge of damage. Uh, damage as, as you see a giant. Is you see this little small secret flame hit it? It okay, spreads. It spreads on uh, basically like fire on gasoline. It just goes over. Like, <laughs> and with that, and with that though, like um. Oops, nope, I didn't mean to draw that. 
But it's there now. Yeah. Got it now. And you see the the tentacle it'll try to reach reach with a dead body. Yeah. Okay. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Woo! Uh, immediately, immediately disappear. Alright, I think I fixed the card finally. Yeah, so yeah, immediately, immediately, immediately and, and, and it disappears. Like, it, it's just like a, it starts to move around, like some sort of like an, an abyssal ooze, and it's just, just slowing down little by little. But Grieve, it's your turn. With your wolf strength. Uh, it's gonna Princess Mononoke and put it in its mouth and just. <laughs> I'm gonna move over to the. to this one over here. And I'm going to use my strength, which is a plus three. Okay. Alright, yeah, you basically move it basically like on, um, to basically here now. Alright. Alright, and so the this little ooze now just roars in pain and and also frustration. And, and now a tentacle just moves this way. I can't find it outside of an AMV. <laughs> like, Did you man. find it in the, an AMV? <laughs> yeah, I found it in the AMV. <laughs> Alright, so... I could have sworn it mauled her, though, didn't it? I thought it did, too. Why do, I, why do we remember it as that? Alright, so oh Drudge will immediately go over here, pick, pick up his sword, but then he'll go and toss out an, um, uh, an, another Molotov cocktail on... on uh, and it, well, And hits hits purchase, and you see you see just erupt in and 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 flame. Ha ha! Finally. And like, like I have an idea. Just keep wailing at it, and and. Bring me that potato ball! The potato ball. Okay, so speaking of the potato ball, um, my first immediate thought was um, how to move the bodies, and I was like, oh, I don't know if the potato balls will work on dead things, and then I was like, but we can try if the imp, and then I remember the imp's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I just started laughing. That's like, a, uh, yeah, he'll use the rest of his movement to, uh, to go here. And as he'll try to uh, get get that um uh, that potato ball. And that'll be his move. Um. And uh, so the uh, the, the Hawkins will, will go in and uh, give a little spray to an uh, uh, to try and uh, the and uh, um. Slow down this tentacle, and it, it actually is. Uh, Bass, it's your turn. Damn it! Hold up. Ugh. Um. All right. Um. I guess I'll move myself over here, even though I don't really need to. And I'm gonna huck another another fireball. Uh, I'm gonna try to hit right there, like at the base where the tentacle's just coming out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see if I can like sever it or stem it or something. All right, run it. Oh wait, why am I doing that? I can just I, I tried to go to my fucking spells again for some reason. It's an attack roll, damn it. At sixteen. Oh, that hits. What? <laughs> Making the noises of the sea, pulling heat out of a fucking white pearl. Ooh, Ooh a little big boy damage as you do. It basically on, on um 
you, you did what you want. It, it's it, and like a fuse. It's it's the fire crawls on the, from the base up to the end, end of the tentacle and starts to uh, light more fire on this uh, um this uh, uh, this ooze. While the ooze is trying to like uh, actually regrow and uh, to the make sure that uh, the the parts of the, uh, that is on fire to detach itself from it. And that's a uh, twelve. Wow. That's some big boy damage right there, and and like 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 always though, you, your little firebolt does more purchase than 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 than, than you thought. Nice. And uh, okay, Julius, it's your turn now. All right, so raining damage gives me advantage. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna use guiding bolt. Is that also radiant? Yes, it's radiant. Oh yeah, uh, go ahead and uh, roll a hit. 13 radiant. Oh wow. Yep. You you push you push it though. It it leaves a veritable hole on where the guy bolt is. And you notice the one thing you, you see from this, from the radiant damage and the, also the, uh, uh, the the fire is starting to heal a little bit. Like by, by you know by by like healing the skin off of it. So the fire just burned off the, the piece of skin that I healed off. From where you from where you saw on uh, the radiant damage it hits. It's not healing at all. Normally, it'll stitch itself back together, but it's not. It's not. It's just the ooze is move, moving, filling the the hole of where where it is, rather than just stitch back together. All right, and he said he wanted the the potato bowl, the sacred potato bowl. So I'm gonna move down and grab it, and then move up one square. Mm-hmm. Oh, and. Uh, here, I'll, I'll 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 give you control. I'll control over it. Okay. There. And... <laughs> Bill Grieve, it's your turn. Alright. Um... Hold on. I guess I'm gonna go and... I'm gonna leave it to these guys to deal the damage, so... Yeah, I, I thought you guys could take a long time with this battle, but you guys are doing much, uh, good damage to it. Radiant damage. So, I'm gonna move my max distance. And I'm gonna do another strength check uh, to move one of the bodies away. So the uh, no, I said that's what you don't have to, and uh, you, have, you you have enough time to actually move stuff. So you, you, you can use your the rest of your five feet of movement to move the body like down. Oh, okay. So, so basically, you're like, like 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 this. Yeah, that's fine. And that's my turn. The corruption. It it doesn't make sense for me to. I should just be doing management, right? <laughs> the corruption. Uh, uh, I mean, like the little block ooze and a gun on a on a goes up though, and you see it do something weird. As it creates this little two hand maws, and this little face just pops up and go, going. And it tries to claw itself closer to you guys, and it kind of does. So like, it. Oh no! Let me just alt this. There. <laughs> there you go. Ah yes, right, right here. <laughs> on, yeah, a little closer, and there, just to be a little uh, very eerily. As it's clawing your clawing itself on on uh, towards you guys now. Like no 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 fuck this fuck this fuck this and full movement right there. Fuck this fuck this fuck this fuck this fuck this. He'll take out this take out this little pistol and load and and this little red cartridge onto it and just fire. That hits. Like, and you see that the little crunch explodes into a, a big ball of fire right in front of him. Like, 
like right, right, in front, right, right in front of the face that it was trying to form. Like, <sighs> okay. And at this point, though, you see it just. It shrink? It shrink a little bit. Oh god. And the uh, Hamakis will just go back here and then rejoin its master. G give it the help action. <laughs> yes, it's, it's your turn now. Not for nothing, but she could be helping us move the bodies, perhaps. And then I'm gonna come over here and just kind of like try to drag. I guess that's. I have 25 feet of movement left. Um. And I'm gonna try to move this corpse away from the thing. Uh, okay. Uh, I try to yeet it or just go, go, go put, put it no, over your shoulder. I'm to move it since the last time I tried to throw it, it just dunked it over. Alright, so you're just dragging it, uh, just uh, use the rest of your movement. Okay, um, let's see, so I have 25 feet left, so. Uh, it'd be right there. I can't. Wait, let me double check to make sure. Okay, it's gonna be right there. Okay. There we go. And I, I see that that was your, yeah, that was your move action. You want to do anything for a standard action? Um. Let's see. I can whip another fucking firebolt at it. Yeah. It's like that scene in Harry Potter where they're running and whipping spells. <laughs> that movie was killed off stage. It was fucked up. <laughs> Just gonna throw that out there. Gal Galile's dad, Galile's uncle was killed off screen. It's fucked up. Alright, so. Uh... 15. Alright, that hits. Roll damage. Ooh, nice. Oh my god. Hitting it with some big boy attacks. Oh my god. Yes. So, Edward. Um, I mean, so. so fast. How do you want to end this? Oh. <laughs> so I'm gonna. Explodes covering everywhere. I'll uh, I'll drop the corpse and just kind of stare it down for a quick second. Hold my hand over the orb and begin to channel the magic. And then um, let's see, what should I say? Um, from the heated depths of the equator, I stab at thee and and. Then I just kind of look and go, but I'm not really stabbing at you, and I just flip the firebolt center mass into it. As you do, the firebolt just, like a drill, jigs into the, the uh, no, this mucus thing. It's, the the claws and face just stops for a minute. It just looks into itself as as the, the, you see this fire. And uh, you see this little, little center point that this fire goes bigger. Bigger, like becoming a supernova as it engulfs the whole entire thing. It rides and screws in agony, but you don't hear a single scream. And it just, and Ash is just dead. Gone. Dead. And like, and Drudge is like, holy shit! You guys are made of sterner stuff, I, I gotta admit. We do pack quite the punch. Here's your potato ball you wanted, by the way. Oh, thanks! I will it. I will admit, and then I summoned my trident again. <laughs> I was not expecting that. But well met, we've managed to destroy the beast, and I just start clanging my uh my trident's uh bottom on the on the stone ground, just ting ting ting. Like uh, also by the way, I, I forgot I forgot the name um um uh sorry I gave the uh Dredges of Munculus, so like alright, um dear, um mind holding holding this for you. Uh, oh oh uh, of course. And like she just she just starts holding it. Like, all right, um, you got you guys got the um the little potato on that plant there. Yeah, I have it. All right, there you go. Thank you. And I don't have a token for him because and and like um, and you're like ah, oh, thank you. Good thing too. Like, drunge. Mind explaining to me what you were doing here? You called me here for for an emergency and. Emergency and did you involve my my adventurers? And in front of you, clad in armor and with this holy symbol of G G G uh, Galvanus out, is none other than the guild master of the Adventurers Guild, Ivan Brentwood. Oh God! And that is where we end our session.
Holy shit. <laughs> you guys met the eccentric uh, little goblin, the goblin uh, alchemist. Hell yeah. And this time he didn't give me a silver knife. <laughs> Not that I needed it, I just imploded a fucking slime god. Uh, well, anyway, yeah, so, like, um, yeah, you met the corruption. And then whooped its ass. So yeah. you met him in, the first, in your guys' campaign, then. Yeah, he is, he is the main, uh, on, on, uh, um, not big bad, but he's the main, um, what's the word for it? Um, what's well, not word for big bad, but uh, he's reoccurring. Reoccurring, though. Well, not really a villain though. He's he's like a, a mass of um a, 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 an an unintelligible mass of death. Hmm. Anyway, yeah. Uh, nemesis. Yeah, yeah, it's a nemesis yeah, and that type of thing. Where like uh, different villains, different villains uh, of like certain arcs will use it as its own purpose. Think of it like um, think of it like uh, Lovecraftian stuff. Where different oh, okay. people can summon like the same mass of thing in different areas, and we just kind of so it's like an eldritch god kind of thing. Kind of yeah, but uh, and, um, sure. yeah, kind kind of yeah, but um, they haven't fully discovered what what it is or where it came from. Because uh, even in, in the main campaign, they have yet to know more about it. Besides the fact that uh, it's it uh, it's very very and um, um, very very affected by holy uh, energy and very very on uh, on a weak against fire. And silver. Which is still holy energy. Yeah, but I mean, just, just so that they know, so it's not just like, oh, well, they can only hurt it with holy. Yeah. So, silver works on it, too. I throw silver needles and use a little silver, what I assume is in the shape of, like, a like a meat knife of some sort. It's like a basic knife, but it's oh. like silver. Oh, by the way. And Grunge you... was the one that gave it to me. So. Oh, by the way, each of you gain uh, 400 experience. I see. Yeah, so like, uh, yeah, and you met Drunch and his homunculus. Um, he, 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 obviously, he's an artificer, he's a goblin, but you know, he's very articulate, very smart, very foul mouthed, and very, very eccentric. Like the fact, like, like, like the fact that uh, he apparently done, uh, as now he done, uh, drank one, one, one of his Molotov cocktails. <sighs> Ooh, we almost there, boys. I know, 500 more. Yeah, I, 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 I want... Uh, um, a little, little thing about that, though. The last encounter with the corruption, though, was actually in, in the, not really planned originally, because remember, the whole potato adventure was meant to actually for session zero, but since it bled into episode one, I had to incorporate a way for you to meet uh, uh, Ivan Brightwood and be in his favor. Mm. And it worked. For yep. we have hopped dead bodies and imploded an entire slime man. I like how... I used my ability, and I took about the same amount of damage that I did on, on like, my first turn. And I got healed back up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, uh, the thing is, on, on, uh, on uh, Artificial Alchemist on Homunculus, that can't really, help, can't really help in battle. All you can do is heal or give, give it help action. Yeah, and they can't really attack. It, it's, it's not like the... the, 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 uh, the uh, um, the Artificer Bowmaster on a uh, uh, little robot dog companion. That one can actually help you in battle. The uh, the homunculus can't. Rats, knock it off. Alright, so yep, yeah, and oh, I can't I can't wait, I could have turned into a giant octopus. Yep. <laughs> you you remember, you remember that freaking that uh, Edward? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a um he has a more modern setting that we were playing to like offset when we weren't playing the main campaign. Yeah, and I'm a um a gnome druid. Who yeah. took the uh, circle of the moon, and so I I can turn into like really decent animals, but I never use them for like legit combat. I always just use them to like hold people down or restrain them, because she's a passive. Oh, okay. Damn it! I just saw what you posted. Best telling Drunge where the potato ball. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and here's, here's the thing. So one thing though, if you guys weren't able to kill it fast enough, I was gonna have Drunge uh, either A, it, it, or either A if the health is too high to seal it, or B if the health is low enough, he will imbue a, a, a um, fireball into into that little potato ball. Um, and also, but now we get to keep our potato ball. Yeah, you could. And the big potato. Ball. And also, and what was I gonna say about the thing again? 
<laughs> oh yeah. Also, uh, you know, good job on on like, getting those corpses out of the way because um, uh, um, Edward learned in uh, on, uh, back then uh, with with Severus that uh, the corruption can actually and and uh, absorb corpses and add them to their mass. So uh, not only that, though, you see like goblin faces, goblin arms. Also, the cor- also that little mass of corruption will actually wield on uh, the scimitar and and uh, the goblin head. Oh, okay. But in, in like a in an in-game setting, though, I mean, Bast kind of just saw that it was reaching for it. We already know that it's the enemy, so it's just like yeah, warrior instinct kicked in. It's like don't let it touch them. He doesn't know what it's gonna do. He just knows that if it wants the bodies, get get the bodies away from it. Uh, yep. And you guys were doing well. I I didn't think you guys had that much fire and holy uh, on you, because the, the, the main campaign they don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't really have any spellcasters, do we? No, I mean, we you're, you're, like, yeah, you're all fighters. Uh, and the, the, the only spellcaster is, is is um is Sora and uh, and Galile, which you you made as a non-combatant. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm, we're slowly turning him into a combatant by training him. Yeah, yeah, but so, but in a way, none of you guys can do any radiant or or fire damage. So that was like your biggest uh, weak point of when fighting the corruption. Yeah, this is a lot easier with when you can actually do decent damage. Because, <laughs> like, yeah. Ben and Roy, both, both their characters uh, deal that type of damage, while I just deal poison. Ab- above game, like, basically, um, uh, Ra- Radiant gives you advantage, Fire gives you double damage, uh, Secret Flame, the only the only thing I count as both Fire and Radiant, does quadruple damage. Jesus. And there's only one clergy out of the entire world that can do that spell. So if you choose, so if you choose a cleric, or a paladin, or you know a, a warlock who's who's not from the luminate the luminate on on on, on uh, who's not under under the luminate god, I will not allow you to have sacred flame. God. <laughs> and does and and that's one re- does does, does uh, above above game, that's, that's one that's one of the main reasons why the luminate clergy is down to single digits. But we don't know why, and uh, uh, they talking to them in the first place. Anyway, so that'll be it for me. Uh, now, Edward, where, where can we find you? Uh, Twitter at Emerald Tusk, which is where I usually post stuff up. Um, and then twitch.tv slash Emerald Tusk. I'm going to try to actually stream this week, uh, assuming these rats don't keep throwing their bowl every two seconds. Yeah, for the next week, so. Um, Huh? You'll be absent for the next week, so. Oh, yeah, that's true. Phasmophobia, Paul? Mm, Tuesday, maybe. Right. And um, you can find me here at twitch.tv slash Sakura. Find me on YouTube on I'm uh, For this series, I'm actually being a good boy. I'm, I'm, I'm actually um, getting the, 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 the videos, the streams, and directly moving them to YouTube rather than downloading them. Oh, oh nice. Because I was having that problem though with uh, no, with um, with uh, the main campaign because I will forget to download them and I will lose them forever. Ah. Mm. And uh, well, anyway, uh, yeah, you find me on YouTube under Kitchen Sakura. Find me on Twitter under Kitchen underscore Sakura. If you'd like to support my channel and all my endeavors, go ahead and click, click on my mask. I'll help me so very very much. And if you'd like to uh, so, and, um like the and, uh, the stuff I do, go ahead and please give me a follow. Anyway, um, let's see who uh, I can raid. Uh, just just arcade him. Nope, I don't know him. Well, I know I know him though, but uh, he doesn't know me. Anyway, thank you guys for coming. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.